He's just a, a strong opponent for any wrestler. I mean, undefeated state champ last year in the state finals the year before, a three-time state medalist, and there, really nice takedown, good fluid motion by a guy that's wrestling 195 pounds. Brady Skinner with it up top. Faye at the buzzer, wow. hits the three. Nice looking shot. To Folkers, back at the Grant Long three, got it. Nice. Cash attacks, double, almost triple teamed, out to Connell, deep three, wow. hit it. That's a three for South Loop. I have to make sure I set my cruise control when I drive after I watch this event. I, yeah, exactly. Car 204, the Yellow Viper of Ryan Personal. Oh, Hello to all our viewers <laughs> out there. Thank you very much for tuning in. You get a look at where we're talking to you from. You get second six and now five. Pandorf at top of the key three. Good! Pandorf at the buzzer. Johnson hammered out towards center. Home going back, going back. Home will dive and did he make the catch? He did! Caden Holm, a diving catch across his body to the right. Going. Ball comes out of there. Who's going to hop on top of it? It's going to be scooped up by Cooksley. Inside the 30, the 20, 15, 10. Can he get there? He can. It's six points for Sandhill Stedford on defense. The scoop and score. Calero sends it in the corner to Santos. A three. Got it. His third from downtown in the quarter. Cody with the bounce. Gets it into Ryan. Ryan. Nice post move. Lays it up and in and scores two. 10.2 seconds left. Plays it out to Pandorf, top of the key. Long three, she puts it up, and that's gonna go. And they turn it over, does Hyannis. Moore could be showtime, goes up and jams it. What a way to end the half for Mullen. Finney lost it to Cash Gracie. Cash runs forward, dunks it. And looks over at his fellow students in the student section on the far side and gives a fist pump. Bounce pass to the elbow to Jackson Henry, handoff Loy. Loy picked up by Miller. Loy bounces it inside to Henry. He'll put it up and score. And Ansley Litchfield has their first lead of the game. That's a good looking car out of Laramie, Wyoming again. Can't get it to go. Lance Jones the rebound. Throws it ahead to Cash Gracie. He puts it home with one hand on the dunk. The 3-2 pitch, swung on, and a little blooper to right field. That's a base hit. Bo's going to win. Coming in to score the winning run is Caden McKean. And Broken Bo wins the Mid-Nebraska League Championship game in walk-off fashion. Carter Johnson, a little flare to right field. Found the outfield grass. And Broken Bow has won the Mid-Nebraska League Championship. He's just a, a strong opponent for any wrestler. I mean, undefeated state champ last year in the state finals the year before, a three-time state medalist, and there, really nice takedown, good fluid motion by a guy that's wrestling 195 pounds. Brady Skinner with it up top. Faye at the buzzer, wow. hits the three, nice looking shot. For to Folkers, back at the Grant Long three, got it! Nice. Cash attacks, double, almost triple teamed, out to Connell, deep three, wow. hit it. That's a three for South Loop. I have to make sure I set my cruise control when I drive after I watch this event. I, yeah, exactly. Car 204, the Yellow Viper of Ryan Personal. Oh, Hello to all our viewers <laughs> out there. Thank you very much for tuning in. You get a look at where we're talking to you from. You get second six and now five. Pandorf at top of the key three. Good! Pandorf at the buzzer. Johnson hammered out towards center. Home going back, going back. Home will dive and did he make the catch? He did! Caden Home, a diving catch across his body to the right. Ball comes out of there. Who's going to hop on top of it? It's going to be scooped up by Cooksley. Inside the 30, the 20, 15, 10. Can he get there? He can. It's six points for Sandhill Stedford on defense. The scoop and score. Calero sends it in the corner to Santos. A three. Got it. His third from downtown in the quarter. Cody with the bounce. Gets it into Ryan. Ryan. 
Bears. Nice post move, plays it up and in and scores two. 10.2 seconds left. Plays it out to Pandorf, top of the key. Long three, she puts it up and that's gonna go. And they turn it over, does Hyannis Moore. Could be showtime, goes up and jams it. What a way to end the half for Mullen. Finney lost it to Cash Gracie. Cash runs forward, dunks it. And looks over at his fellow students in the student section on the far side and gives a fist pump. Pass to the elbow to Jackson Henry, handoff Loy. Loy picked up by Miller. Loy bounces it inside to Henry. He'll put it up and score. And Ansley Litchfield has their first lead of the game. That's a good looking car out of Laramie, Wyoming again. Can't get it to go. Lance Jones the rebound. Throws it ahead to Cash Gracie. He puts it home with one hand on the dunk. The 3-2 pitch, swung on, and a little blooper to right field. That's a base hit. Bo's going to win. Coming in to score the winning run is Caden McKean. And Broken Bow wins the Mid-Nebraska League Championship game in walk-off fashion. Carter Johnson, a little flare to right field. Found the outfield grass. And Broken Bow has won the Mid-Nebraska League Championship. He's just a, a strong opponent for any wrestler. I mean, undefeated state champ last year in the state finals the year before, a three-time state medalist, and there, really nice takedown, good fluid motion by a guy that's wrestling 195 pounds. Brady Skinner with it up top. Faye at the buzzer, wow. hits the three, nice looking shot. For to Folkers, back at the Grant Long three, got it! Nice. Cash attacks, double, almost triple teamed, out to Connell, deep three, wow. hit it. That's a three for South Loop. I have to make sure I set my cruise control when I drive after I watch this event. Hey, yeah, exactly. Car 204, the Yellow Viper of Ryan Furstenau. Hello. Hello to all our viewers <laughs> out there. Thank you very much for tuning in. You get a look at where we're talking to you from. You get back in six and now five. Pandorf at top of the key three. Good! Pandorf at the buzzer. Johnson hammered out towards center. Home going back. Going back. Home will dive. And did he make the catch? He did! Caden home. A diving catch across his body to the right. Going. Ball comes out of there. Who's going to hop on top of it? It's going to be scooped up by Cooksley. Inside the 30, the 20, 15, 10. Can he get there? He can. It's six points for Sandhill Thedford on defense. The scoop and score. Calero sends it in the corner to Santos. A three. Got it. His third from downtown in the quarter. Cody with the bounce. Gets it into Ryan. Ryan. Nice post move, plays it up and in and scores two. 10.2 seconds left. Plays it out to Pandorf, top of the key. Long three, she puts it up and that's gonna go. And they turn it over, does Hyannis Moore. Could be showtime, goes up and jams it. What a way to end the half for Mullen. Finney lost it to Cash Gracie. Cash runs forward, dunks it. And looks over at his fellow students in the student section on the far side and gives a fist pump. Pass to the elbow to Jackson Henry, handoff Loy. Loy picked up by Miller. Loy bounces it inside to Henry. He'll put it up and score. And Ansley Litchfield has their first lead of the game. That's a good looking car out of Laramie, Wyoming again. Can't get it to go, Lance Jones. Welcome to another broadcast of high school sports here on Central Nebraska's Sports Source. We want to say thanks to all the community-spirited businesses who bring you our coverage. We hope that you'll join us thanking those sponsors by giving them your patronage. Now, let's go live for our coverage of exciting sports action on Central Nebraska Sports Source. Good evening and welcome evening to Callaway welcome High School, Callaway. site of MNAC basketball action tonight on KCNI Pure Country and the Sandhills Express YouTube and Facebook pages. My name is Jeremy Scheip alongside videographer Summer Yarrington. 
getting ready for some fun action here in Callaway for you tonight on our half of the bracket here in Callaway. The first matchup will have the four seed Mullen Broncos and the five seed Sandhills Valley Mavericks facing off. The late game here this evening will pit South Loop, the top seed in the tournament against the eight seed Brady. Before we get too far into our pregame, we want to thank the sponsors that are making our coverage possible here tonight. They include Thrivent Financial, Four County Heating and Air, Backbone of Healthcare, Clang Financial, Kimbers in Stapleton, Day Spring Bank, Quick Stop in Mullen, Quick Shop in Mullen, Consolidated, Mackey's Grocery and Deli Corner, Nebraska State Bank, Rod's Body and Paint, Arrow Seed, Shelter Insurance, Custer Federal State Bank, The Grocery Cart, Agland ATV, Mead Lumber, Team Physical Therapy, Geared for Sports, Sargent Irrigation, Melham Medical Center, Trotter Service, and A2Z Lawn Pro. You will also see several different sponsors scrolling across the top right-hand part of your screen if you are watching the Sandhills Express YouTube and Facebook pages this evening. Thank you to these sponsors for making the video broadcast possible tonight. Palmer Monument, Grocery Cart, Agland ATV, Nebraska State Bank, Insurance of the Heartland, Meat Lumber, Broken Bow, Coligan, Broken Bow Livestock, Lines Appliance, Callaway District Hospital, Agribest Feeds, Sand Hills Custom Creations, Custer Public Power District, Cattleman's Cut, BD Broken Bow, and Gibbons Seed. We'll take a quick break and hear from some of our sponsors. When we come back, we'll set things up for you for this first game of two between Mullen and Sand Hills Valley. This is being brought to you in part by Kimbers, proud Sand Hills Valley Maverick supporters. From fuel to food, when you're on the go, turn towards Kimbers on Highway 83, just outside of Stapleton. Pick up a snack to fuel yourself up or pull up to the pumps and get your vehicle ready to hit the road. The next time you're driving down Highway 83 and need a pit stop, make sure you stop by Kimbers. They're happy to help bring you this sports broadcast while cheering on the Sand Hills Valley Mavericks. Your friends and neighbors at Day Spring Bank, formerly First State Bank of Mullen, are proud to support the Mullen Broncos on the road. For those of you who can't be at the game, whether your family is growing, you're starting a business, or you've been farming or ranching for generations, Day Springs Bankers get to know you personally and create custom solutions to help you reach your goals. Day Spring Bank, for whatever the day brings. Member FDIC. This broadcast is being brought to you by Quick Stop. With 27 locations open 24-7, you know when you see a Quick Stop, you can refuel your vehicle and yourself anytime. They serve fresh-made crispy crunchy chicken and Piccadilly pizza. If it's a cool treat you're after, try for real shakes and smoothies or gourmet frazzle slushes. Going to visit Quick Stop regularly? Pick up a rewards card and start saving today. Quick Stop, 27 locations to serve you, including right on the highway in Mullen. Happy to bring you this sports radio action. Consolidated Companies is a proud sponsor of our student athletes. Everyone wants to get to the events and cheer on their students, but sometimes you just can't. Keeping up to date on all the local sports is hard to do, but Consolidated Super Fast Broadband can change that. Find all the latest information on local school and broadcast channel web pages, along with news and weather. For more information, call Consolidated at 1 800 742 7464. Plus, look for them now on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Consolidated Companies. For Mackey's Grocery and Mullen, giving their customers the best food values is job one. They offer weekly specials in every department, including the freshest fruits and vegetables on the market. Their meat department features certified Angus beef. Add to all that selection, friendly customer service, and you'll see why their customers keep coming back again and again. Another proud sponsor of high school sports broadcasts, Mackey's Grocery in Mullen, your Sand Hills Food Center. We've got spirit, yes we do. We've got spirit, how about you? Here at Nebraska State Bank, we've got school spirit. Introducing mascot debit cards from Nebraska State Bank. Now you can go to your local NSB branch and request a new debit card for your favorite high school team. The Broken Bow Indians, South Loop Bobcats, or Insula Murray debit cards are available by instant issue. You'll only pay $10, and the entire amount will be passed along to your school. It's a win-win situation, right? Take your school pride to the next level at Nebraska State Bank and Trust. Member FDIC.
Welcome back to Callaway back as to Callaway. we get set for MNAC Boys action here on KCNI Pure Country and the Sand Hills Express YouTube and Facebook pages. One thing to keep in mind, if you do know somebody that is here in attendance that would want to watch the game back, the full replay on Facebook and YouTube is made available following the end of our broadcast today. So, you know the games that are happening on this half of the bracket. Let's talk a little bit about what's going on on our sister station, KBBN Radio, in Thedford this evening. Brent Apperson and Larry Kotner are out there bringing you those games. Their opening match is going to take place between Twin Loop and Anselmo Myrna. That is the three and six seed matchup, respectively. The second matchup is going to be Sandhills Thedford, the two seed, facing the seven seed, Arthur County and then obviously the winners from each of the games tonight will advance into the quarter excuse me into the semifinals and they're one step closer to an MNAC championship. Girls action gets started tomorrow real quick we'll talk about what we've got going on there for you. KBBN radio is going to be the radio home for the games from Sand Hills High School. We will also have the video stream of that for you. Sand Hills Express YouTube and Facebook pages will be running as well tomorrow night first game is twin loop and anselmo myrna second game is sandhills Stepford and sandhills valley should be a great to have you along for those ones on kbbn and sandhills express video right now it's all about the boys south loop and brady the second game the first game up as these teams prepare is mullen and sandhills valley Real quick, let's take a look at the starters for you here on KCNI Radio. Starting for Sand Hills Valley, it's going to be Leighton Connell. He is the uh, junior. Brayden Powell also getting the start at senior. Isaac Goosey is a junior. Cooper Layer is a senior. And Kyle Kramer is a junior. Bo McVeigh is the head coach of Sand Hills Valley. And we'll have the starters for the Mullen Broncos on the other side of a quick timeout and a word from our sponsors here on KCNI Pure Country. Perfection on is our vehicles. You want something that gets you to where you're going comfortably while looking great. Whether storm damage, deer damage, or insurance claim, take your ride to Rod's Body and Paint Broken Bow. They're the collision specialist. You should call 308-872-5346. Offering over 42 years of experience, they'll get you back on the road quickly without sacrificing quality. From dings and dents to full replacement and auto glass repair. Rod's Body and Paint, West Highway 2, Broken Bow. Ag producers know that healthy soil is the foundation for profitable, productive, and sound agricultural systems. Learn more about grazing strategies for optimum benefit to your herd and your soil, along with other related topics at AeroSeed's annual Soil Health Regeneration Conference, Wednesday the 31st in Broken Bow, featuring Nick Smith from Epworth, Iowa. Seating is limited for this free conference, so pre-registration by January 25th is required. Learn more and register online at aeroseed.com or call Aeroseed and Broken Bow by January 25th. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. Contact your local shelter insurance agents, Brent Custer or Seth Pearson in Broken Bow. Custer Federal has been helping customers acquire new and or improve existing homes for over 90 years. We are excited to have the opportunity to help you finance your home purchase, improvement, or refinance. Whether it is move-in ready or a fixer-upper, we have mortgage experts who are up to speed on all types of financial solutions. We will work with you from application to closing to make the process as easy as possible. Get the keys to your dream home with Custer Federal, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back to Callaway High School. Now the starters for the Mullen Broncos. Brandon Harden is a freshman standing 5'10 in the starting lineup. Ethan Harden is a senior also standing 5'10. Alex Werner in the starting lineup at sophomore 5'11. Kyle Finney, a senior standing 5'6. And Jacob Walker rounds out the starting lineup for the Mullen Broncos. He is a sophomore standing 6'2. Brad Wright is the head coach of the Mullen Broncos. He is assisted by Derek Hanks and Dan Young. In the case of Mullen, runners-up last year in the MNAC championship game, they were defeated by South Loop 50-39 to in that game. A one big name that is missing from this Mullen squad this year, having graduated, is 
Clayton Moore. He uh, led Mullen throughout that season and was a big part of Mullen basketball for a long time. But Mullen looking to put their own stamp on this season, coming into this one on a pretty good winning streak. They've won five straight going back to January 5th. The tip is up, and the tip is won by Sand Hills Valley as they come into the front court right in front of us. Lob is intercepted. Finney can't grab it, and stepping on the baseline trying to save it is Isaac Goosey. So that is a turnover against Sand Hills Valley. First possession for Mullen Broncos is awarded. Finney will walk it up 15 seconds into this ball game. Kyle gives it off high post to Werner. Alex over to Walker. Now Finney, right side wing. Finney up top to Harden. Harden a couple of dribbles back to Finney. 30 seconds gone here in this one, still scoreless. Work it around left side to Harden. Up top. Driving is Werner, has it slapped back at him. And St. Hills Valley with their second opportunity here in the half court now. Connell cut off. Had it knocked out of there. Ball goes out of bounds. Who's it off of? It will retain possession with Sand Hills Valley. Last touch by Mullen. Sand Hills Valley, the all black uniforms, red trim, white numerals as they're back in the half court. Still scoreless here, one minute into the game. Kramer with it, right side wing. Comes near side, gives it off. Layer up top now to Powell. Working around near side, Kramer working against Walker defensively, lobs it inside to Harden. Brandon, no room there, tries to dribble out, but shuffle the feet, and it's another turnover against Sand Hills Valley. We'll go back the other way with the Broncos. Mullen coming off of a game where they scored 40 points in a victory. Sand Hills Valley last time out at Maxwell scored 58 in their contest. Certainly a little bit behind pace for both of these teams. Minute and a half gone. Finney with it up top, far side of the court for Mullen. Off left side, Brandon Harden back up top to Walker. Walker a couple of dribbles, back off to Finney right wing. Nothing really developing offensive wise for Mullen, but Sand Hills Valley is really packing it inside. Haven't seen much offensive action for Mullen in the form of shot taking as Finney resets it up top again, off to Alex Werner. Werner holds it up, up top to Walker, now near side, Finney. Finney drives, has it blocked by Kramer, a foul gonna be called on the back end of it. No opportunity for that one to go in despite the foul. Kramer sent it right back and the foul is gonna be whistled on Leighton Connell. His first and the first in fact of the entire game for either team. That'll put Cal Finney to the line, and he makes his first. Finney goes through the routine, rattles home the second one, and it's a 2-0 lead for Mullen. Goosey back into the front court, off far side to Kramer. Kramer, one dribble, and now back up top, Powell. Back to Kramer, Kramer one dribble, cut off, tries to fit it inside, it makes it through into the hands of Layer. can't get the shot to go, and the offensive board and put back by Braden Powell finds the bottom of the net and we're tied up at two apiece. With it left side, Harden to Walker, now far side to Finney. Finney drives in, cut off and double teamed. Work it around right side. Finney again, approaching five minutes ago, tied at two apiece here in the opening quarter between Mullen and St. Hills Valley. Walker with it, right side wing, looking for a couple of cutters, doesn't find anyone, off to Harden. Brandon, a couple of dribbles, back up top to Werner, back to Harden. 4.45 to go and things remain stagnant and now turning it over is Mullen. Back the other way, Braden Powell puts it up, gets it to roll in, and Powell's got himself all four points for the Sand Hills Valley offense. Four to two, the Mavericks lead over the Broncos. 
Ethan Harden backs it out, top of the key. 4.20 to go here in the first quarter. Not many stoppages, just one total foul. Two free throws and two scores from the field. And that's about all. Jacob Walker gets a free throw line jumper, just as I say that. And he makes it into the scorebook himself. Back the other way comes Sandhills Valley. Working across the top of the lane, they give it off to Isaac Goosey. Goosey, short corner, stops, pops, can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound is pulled out of there by Mullins' Jacob Walker. The break the other way. 3.45 to go first quarter. Losing it is Finney, recovers, goes baseline. Cut off well there. Step back, long two, way off. And the rebound to Mullen. Finney reattacks, drives in. Triple team down there in the lane, has to scoop it out. Jumper from 15 does not go for Alex Werner. Rebound again to Mullen, but stepping on the baseline is Finney. It'll be a turnover back to Sandhills Valley. Three twenty-six to go first quarter. We're all knotted up at four. Mullen with a couple of free throws from Kyle Finney and a score by Jacob Walker. Braden Powell doing all the scoring for St. Hills Valley. They work it around. Isaac Goose, he can't get the three to go. Rebound into the hands of Alex Werner, and Mullen's off and running. A fast-moving first quarter. One total foul, and I think we've only gone out of bounds about three times. Now the ball's tipped away. Mullen runs back into the backcourt to recover. Walker brings it up, being hounded by Cooper Layer. Now resets, gives it off to Finney right side. Finney doesn't use the bounce, round to Harden. Now left side to Walker. Walker holds the ball high, now brings it down. Chest pass out to Harden, shuffle the feet, and a turnover will bring it back our direction. Here on the end stage, zooming in and zooming out the name of the game rather than moving the camera left and right. Thanks for all of you tuning in to the video broadcast here from Callaway this evening. We're all knotted up at four here in this opening game of two. Kramer with the bounce, drives inside, pulls up from just inside the free throw line, and Kyle Kramer gets into the scorebook, and it's a 6-4 lead for Sand Hills Valley. Mullen back the other direction, high post look for Warner. Alex almost had it poked away, but Walker recovers it. Now Finney right side. Six minutes gone, first quarter. Sand Hills Valley playing tight defense inside, and just as I say that, Brandon Harden commits the double dribble, brought that offhand up momentarily, and it's a turnover again back to Sand Hills Valley. <laughs> Bringing it up for Sand Hills Valley, Cameron Burliner into the game. Mavericks back in the half court. Finney playing defense as his man had lost his dribble. They drip it inside real quick. Shot put up by Braden Powell. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound Mullen. They're off and running. Mullen trailing 6-4 to four as Finney sets it up up top. Gives it off to Werner. Alex holds it up. Work it around to Finney. Left side again. Trying to get something going inside, but Sandhills Valley has brought the, brought the double and triple teams consistently. Now Finney left side, jab step, drives, spin, cut off really well there. It doesn't work out for them. Shot is missed, and Sand Hills Valley pulls down the miss. One and done for the Mullen offense. Back the other way. A long two-pointer, or just barely a three put up, but not in by Cooper Layer. One and done the other way, and we're inside a minute. Ten total points scored in this game so far. Finney wants to change that. Doesn't get it to go. Rebound to Mullen. Werner with it, works it around to Cal Finney left side. He'll reset with 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Mullen, patient offense, might try for one shot here. Certainly know they can hold onto the ball for a long time. We've had very few shots for either of these teams throughout the evening. Finney now holds it up as we approach 20 seconds to go first quarter. Probably one of the fastest quarters of basketball I've ever called. Werner with it right side, drives against Kramer. Little floater, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled out of there by Kramer. And with eight seconds, here comes Sand Hills Valley. 
Kramer drives in. Everyone leaves him. He lays it up and in to put his third and fourth point in the scorebook as time expires and the shot misses at the buzzer. We head to the second. Sand Hills Valley leads it 8-4 over Mullen on KCNI Pure Country. The grocery cart meat department is not your typical meat department. Our meat is fresh and our prices are great. We have a wide selection of beef, pork, chicken, and seafood with options like Hormel Natural Choice, Smart Chicken, and Certified Angus Beef. You know you're getting quality meat to center your meal around. Come and see us at the grocery cart, East Highway 2, Broken Bow. Friendly Rivals, hometown pride, wearing your school's colors. Small towns are brought together cheering on their favorite teams. Agland ATV knows how hard the athletes and coaches work year-round and are proud to help sponsor the games of our customers and their kids and grandkids. We have built relationships with many of these families through the years and are proud of their success. Best of luck to all the local athletes from Agland ATV and Broken Bow. 872 3424. Agland ATV, West Highway 2, Broken Bow. 872 3424. Well, just like that, it's time for second quarter action here on KCNI and Sand Hills Express video. 12 total points scored there in the first quarter. Not many turnovers at all. In fact, five total between the two teams and only one foul whistled. That was on Leighton Connell of Sand Hills Valley. Two teams evenly matched here so far, although I'd venture to guess that both teams would really like some more offensive scoring. And just like that, Finney comes out on the quick pop and scores three to open up the scoring for Mullen here in the second quarter. He's got five. Sand Hills Valley looking to answer, up one. Shot misses in the lane, back the other way. Finney pushing it, skip pass, far side over to Harden. Harden brings it up and centers it. Now goes right side to Werner. Werner back up top, and they work it around left side to Harden. Up top to Finney. Kyle backs it out. Good defense there by Goosey of Sand Hills Valley. One minute gone here, second quarter. Eight to seven is the Sand Hills Valley lead. Mavericks continue to play tough defense. Nice scoop pass and a nice shot fake. And go at it by Jacob Walker. He gets into the scorebook again. He's got four on the evening. BJ Goforth brings it up for Sand Hills Valley. Gives it off and swims through. Now Kramer right side. Work it over to Goosey. Goosey, pull up. Long two, does not go, and will go out of bounds. Back to Mullen. Couple of subs coming in for Sand Hills Valley. Braden Powell back into the game. Cooper Lair, another starter back into the contest for Sand Hills Valley. Mullen with the 9-8 lead. Almost picking it off as Goforth. Work it around the other way. Finney pulls from the top of the key again. Can't get it to go. Nice position inside by Cooper Layer. Pulls down the miss. It's one and done. Mullen falls back on defense. Go forth. Left side for Goosey. Goosey lobs it inside. It's taken away. Harden with good defense from behind. And now, let's see, did Harden step on the baseline? Uh, they're waiting for somebody. Okay, now a timeout's taken. Not sure what was happening there, but timeout is eventually taken. I think we were waiting on an inbounder. Nothing was really happening, and one of the coaches decided to take a timeout. That gives us a chance to thank one of our wonderful sponsors of tonight's broadcast, Four County Heating and Air. Owners Brian Hawk and Austin Cox serve the area with a combined 20 years of experience in the HVAC industry. They provide free estimates and 24-hour service. No matter what the temperature is outside, they'll make sure the temperature inside is just right. Call Four County Heating and Air in Broken Bow at 872-2258. Five points for Kyle Finney in this opening half so far. Four points for Jacob Walker. That's the scoring for Mullen. A couple of Mavericks for Sand Hills Valley with four points each. Braden Powell as well as Kyle Kramer as the Mavericks get it inbounds and set up here in the half court. 
go forth with it. They work it around near side. Layer on the left side, back up top to go forth. High post look, Powell. Powell cuts in, puts up a shot. A foul is called. And I believe this will be a shooting foul. It'll send Braden Powell to the free throw line. First foul whistled on Jacob Walker of Mullen. And the first one does fall for Braden Powell. Adds to his evening scoring. Both of these teams can't be really against the idea of getting a little bit of a rest, putting the hands on the hips, as we have not had very many stoppages. Powell can't get the first and second both through. Misses that one, and we're tied up at nine. Mullen back into the half court. 5.20 to go, and the pass goes over the top of Finney's head. Turnover back to Sand Hills Valley. That's the fourth turnover for Mullen so far in this one. Isaac Goosey brings it forward, go forth off the right side. Doesn't like the look on the wing, gets it up top to Powell. Powell to Goosey, Isaac looks inside, gets it into Johnston. Johnston turns, finds the angle, can't get it to go. Weak side rebound put up, doesn't go. Johnston back again, the stick to itiveness, and Kaysen Johnston gets into the scorebook with his first two. Mullen back into the half court. Nice cut inside by Ethan Harden, and it's a quick answer. And Harden is in the scorebook for Mullen. And again, we're tied this time at 11. They're going back inside to Johnston again. Doesn't get it to go. Weak side rebound. Cooper Lair puts it up and in. And then all of a sudden, it's like the lid has been taken off of the bucket. We're really trading scores at this point. It's 13 to 11, Sand Hills Valley. Finney almost has it taken away, recovers, almost loses it again. Might be a slick spot over there. Putting up the three and splashing it home, Brandon Harden. And now it's a one-point lead for Mullen as the scoring has really stepped up. Skip pass, Goosey in the wing. Sand Hills Valley searching, Cooper Lair. Pulling the shot, and a foul is going to be called away from the ball. I believe they're going to get Isaac Goosey trying to block out Finney really early in this one. Actually, they're going to call that one on Johnston. Kaysen being whistled for his first. Mullen inbounds. 14 to 13 is their lead. Finney into the front court, right side for Werner. Kramer playing way off of him. Work it up top to Finney. 3.30 to go here first half. 14 to 13 is the Mullen lead. Right to left, Harden. And the weave action starts for Mullen. Finney with it up top. Has it poked away, recovers well. Couple of crossovers, drives in, loses it. Sand Hills Valley back the other way. Leighton Connell out and running. Jump stop, scores. That's two more for Sand Hills Valley as they seize back the lead at 15 to 14. Finney with the basketball, goes left side, hands it off to Harden. Ethan Harden hands it off. Walker, right to left. Walker out to Finney. Finney thought about the three, fires it back inside to Walker. Walker, a couple of dribbles out to Harden. Ethan, a couple of dribbles, same thing, back out to Walker, who resets. 2.30 to go here, first half. Mullen trailing by one, 15 to 14. Finney fouled. That foul going to be whistled on Isaac Goosey, his first. Three total fouls in the first half so far against St. Hills Valley. Finney left to right, hands it off to Walker. The weave is on again. Popping out and receiving it is Harden. Harden comes near side, gives it off to Finney. Finney, the shoulder fake, gives it off. Walker, three, hit it. 
Mullen kind of lulling to sleep Sandhills Valley and all of a sudden Jacob Walker comes out firing and he's got seven to lead all scorers. Kramer wants to answer, dribbled it off a foot. Goosey recovers it. 1.55 to go first half. Driving inside, Leighton Connell cut off, has to give it back out to Goosey. Now Powell resets off to Leighton Connell. Connell gets a little flare screen, has it cut away, has to throw it inside. Last touch by Sandhills Valley, out of bounds. Good defensive possession for Mullen. They'll go down with a minute 37 left on the first half clock, looking to extend their 17 to 15 lead. After one on our sister station, KBBN, Twin Loop, leading Anselmo Myrna 13 to 10 on the other half of the boys bracket. Mullen back in the half court, minute 20 to go here, first half in Callaway. Finney, baseline drive, quadruple team down inside. They get it out, ends up in a three of Harden, and he knocks home another one. Ethan Harden and the Mullen Broncos, four three-pointers here in the second quarter, and all of a sudden the offense alive for Mullen. Connell backs it out for Sand Hills Valley. One minute to go here, first half. You hear Coach Brad Wright. Encouraging his team defensively, Connell drives in, gives it off to Goosey. Goosey drives in, nice gather inside. Rim is not friendly, it's into the hands of Mullen on the rebound miss. Finney wants to push it, 40 seconds to go. Finney kicks it out, Harden drives in, short corner, cut off, has it ripped away by Powell. Sandhills Valley back the other way. Braden Powell wants to go all the way, does so, and lays it up and in. Braden Powell with another two. He's got seven so far in the contest. Finney calls out a set play. 20 seconds left and a three-point lead for Mullen as we approach the halftime break. Ethan Harden, a couple of dribbles, hands it off to Finney. Eight seconds now. Finney with the bounce. Goosey picks him up. Step back three-pointer. Can't get it to rattle in. Kramer the rebound. And that will give us our halftime score. Mullen leads it 20 to 17 at the half over Sand Hills Valley in our opening contest of two here in Callaway. We'll add up the numbers. We'll come back and bring them to you on KCNI Pure Country and Sand Hills Express video. Anything, it makes us notice the drafts our homes are letting through. Meath Lumber and Broken Bow is proud to be your local solution for sailing up those drafts and making your home more efficient. They sell quality Anderson windows. Both 100 and 400 series are available for your new construction or replacement project. Of course, they have the foam for around those windows too. Meath Lumber is still being remodeled, but inside, their knowledgeable staff is ready to help with your DIY project. Are you afraid of falling? Team Physical Therapy can help. 872-5111. Good balance is essential for a healthy, active life. Team Physical Therapy is here to help you stay healthy, improve your balance, and keep you active. 872-5111. Our highly trained physical therapist will design a personalized plan for you to help you improve your stability, decrease risk of falling, and get you back to doing what you love. Don't let that balance issue keep you at home. Or if it does, we can come to you. Call Team Physical Therapy, 872-5111. Geared for Sports and Broken Bow is all about gearing you up for sports. Whether it's for participating or for cheering from the stands, they have it. Scott is extending their semi-annual shoe sale in case the cold and snow has been keeping you from shopping. All regular price shoes are marked 20% off. Head through their door on the west side of the square and take advantage of big savings. The semi-annual shoe sale at Geared for Sports. Open Monday to Friday 10 to 6 and Saturdays 10 to 4. Get your gear at Geared for Sports in Broken Bow. Sargent Irrigation may be known worldwide, but their roots are right here in central Nebraska, something they are very proud of. They hire right here in the heartland and know their success is due to those quality employees. As a way of showing support for the community, Sargent Irrigation sponsors high school sports broadcasts, so those unable to attend can follow the action. Enjoy the broadcast, sponsored in part by Sargent Irrigation in Broken Bow. Happy New Year from all of us at Melham Medical Center in Broken Bow. 
we thank you for trusting us with your family's care throughout the year. And we look forward to making your healthcare experience comfortable and dependable for years to come. We invite you to visit our website, melham.org, to learn more about us, including our services, history, careers, and more. That's melham.org. Melham Medical Center, large enough to serve, small enough to care. Wishing you a happy new year. The student-athletes you're cheering on during this broadcast practice and study in order to get their competition and schoolwork done right. At Trotter Service, they do the same, except with your vehicle repairs. Whether you need a new battery, brake work, an alignment, tires, wheels, or an overhaul, trust their auto repair specialists to tackle the job. Don't forget bulk oil and fuel delivery and on-the-farm tire truck service, too. Proud to help bring you this broadcast, Trotter Service in Broken Bow. Acquiring a lush green lawn is a lot of work. Worry no more. HZ Lawn Pro's fertilizer program is the solution to ease your mind and lessen your work. Any time of the season is a good time to start. Eliminate weeds, strengthen your grass, and even keep bugs away with liquid fertilizer treatments mixed with micronutrients for a recipe that works specifically in this area. 30 years of experience. 308-870-1762 for A to Z Lawn Pro. That's A to Z Lawn Pro at 870-1762. This sports broadcast is being brought to you in part by Kimbers, proud Sandhills Valley Maverick supporters. From fuel to food, when you're on the go, turn towards Kimbers on Highway 83, just outside of Stapleton. Pick up a snack to fuel yourself up or pull up to the pumps and get your vehicle ready to hit the road. The next time you're driving down Highway 83 and need a pit stop, make sure you stop by Kimber's. They're happy to help bring you this sports broadcast while cheering on the Sandhills Valley Mavericks. Your friends and neighbors at Dayspring Bank, formerly First State Bank of Mullen, are proud to support the Mullen Broncos on the road. For those of you who can't be at the game, whether your family is growing, you're starting a business, or you've been farming or ranching for generations, Day Springs bankers get to know you personally and create custom solutions to help you reach your goals. Day Spring Bank, for whatever the day brings. Member FDIC. Welcome back to Callaway High School as we are at the half of our first of two contests, this one between Mullen and Sand Hills Valley, the four and five seeds respectively, and they're really kind of playing like two teams that are right next to each other seeding-wise. Mullen leads this one at the half, 20-17 to 17 over Sand Hills Valley. Kind of a slow start. It was 8-4 to four in favor of Sand Hills Valley after one, and honestly, a lot of those points were scored in the latter half of the first quarter. Things kind of heated up a little bit at the end of the first quarter. Uh, certainly at that middle part of the second quarter is where a majority of this scoring came for both of these teams. Let's first take a look at the visitors on the scoreboard. That would be Sand Hills Valley. They were led in scoring by Braden Powell. He is one for two from the free throw line, has also put in three from the field for his seven points. Four points for Kyle Kramer and two points apiece by Leighton Connell, Kaysen Johnston, as well as Cooper Layer. Uh, as far as the free throw line, that one of two from Braden Powell are the only free throws that have been shot by Sand Hills Valley. By my unofficial mark, they have turned it over two times. On the other half of the court, the home team on the scoreboard is Mullen. Kind of a slow start to this one. They trailed by four points at the end of the first quarter, but the three-point line started being friendly to them in the second quarter. They knocked home four three-pointers in the quarter, one each by Brandon Harden, Ethan Harden, Kyle Finney, and Jacob Walker for those four three-pointers in the second quarter. Scoring-wise, Jacob Walker leading the Mullen Broncos with seven, five apiece for Kyle Finney and Ethan Harden, and then Brandon Harden with three points as well, as it is, again, a 20-17 to 17 lead. Mullen leading St. Hills Valley here at the half of this one. Again, remember, later on this evening, South Loop is facing Brady. South Loop hosting here in Callaway, obviously, as the one seed looking to repeat as that one seed, as the MNAC champions, the boys and the girls back in 2023 from South Loop were both champions. We'll, of course, keep our eyes really closely on the other half of the boys bracket. Twin Loop and Anselmo Myrna playing right now. St. Hill, Semford, and Arthur County to be playing later on. Those games, if you want to flip over to them, can be heard on our sister station, KBBN 95.3 FM. Tomorrow, 
We'll have action coming your way from Sand Hills High School. It's the four and the five seed, Twin Loop and Anselmo Myrna opening up action at 5.30 there in Dunning. And then it's the top seed and host, Sand Hills Thetford, taking on Sand Hills Valley in that one seed versus eight seed matchup there at Sand Hills. Those are the games we'll have for you on our sister station, KBBN Radio, as well as the Sand Hills Express YouTube and Facebook pages. Right here on KCNI Pure Country to be the Broken Bow girls basketball team as they start Southwest Conference play tomorrow. That gives you the rundown of where we sit with our week. Of course, later on in the week after we have these opening round quarterfinal games for MNAC, we'll work our way into semifinal Thursday. Of course, we'll have all of those games from Broken Bow on KBBN Radio and the Sand Hills Express YouTube and Facebook pages. And that is the same situation as we work towards Saturday. We'll have the video and radio equipment there in Broken Bow for those as well. Makes for a great viewing and listening experience. And if you've never experienced MNAC Championship Saturday, it is an absolute blast. We would love to have you along for that coverage. As we get set up for the second half in this one, want to thank another of our sponsors, Backbone of Healthcare. Don't let low back and leg pain reduce your quality of life. Studies suggest spinal manipulation as the first method of treatment. Having pain? Call Dr. Chad Hackle with Backbone of Healthcare at 872-2171 or visit them Monday through Friday on South 9th Avenue in Broken Bow. Thank you to Backbone of Healthcare for sponsoring this sports broadcast. We're a minute away from second half action. It's Mullen and Sand Hills Valley coming up second half on KCNI. This broadcast is being brought to you by Quick Stop. With 27 locations open 24-7, you know when you see a Quick Stop, you can refuel your vehicle and yourself anytime. They serve fresh-made crispy crunchy chicken and Piccadilly pizza. If it's a cool treat you're after, try for real shakes and smoothies or gourmet frazzle slushes. Going to visit Quick Stop regularly? Pick up a rewards card and start saving today. Quick Stop, 27 locations to serve you, including right on the highway in Mullen. Happy to bring you this sports radio action. Consolidated Companies is a proud sponsor of our student athletes. Everyone wants to get to the events and cheer on their students, but sometimes you just can't. Keeping up to date on all the local sports is hard to do, but Consolidated Superfast Broadband can change that. Find all the latest information on local school and broadcast channel web pages, along with news and weather. For more information, call Consolidated at 1-800-742-7464. Plus, look for them now on Facebook, facebook.com slash Consolidated Companies. Welcome back to Callaway as action is just underway. Five seconds into this second half. Sand Hills Valley now on the far side of the court. Connell with it. Skip pass, maybe unintentional over to Kramer. Kramer goes baseline, has it knocked away, and it's turnover out of the gate starting this second half for Sand Hills Valley. Mavericks fall back on defense as Finney brings it up for Mullen. Finney goes over to Werner. Now they work it back over to Finney, right side wing. Kyle, ball above the head, surveys, skips it all the way down inside to Harden, puts up the shot. Oh, but they call a travel before, shuffled the feet a little bit, and Coach Wright kind of nods ahead and says, yeah, I was hoping you wouldn't see it, but I guess I agree. Turnover by Mullen back the other way. 45 seconds into this second half. Connell with it right side for Sand Hills Valley. Over to Powell. Now back up top. Goosey skip pass over to Kramer. Kramer one jab step off to Connell. Connell, a couple of dribbles, looks at Kramer, now goes away from him. Back to Goosey, now right side Powell. Powell, baseball pass over to Kramer. Kramer attacks, reverse lay-in, left it short, fight for the rebound into the hands of Kramer. Sand Hills Valley will pull it out with Connell and reset. Connell now a floater re-attacking. Can't get that one to go. Rebound to Mullen. We still have not scored any points here in the third quarter. 6.30 to go, third period. Brandon Harden, the 5'10 freshman, gives it up top to Ethan Harden. Now Finney, who resets. Mullen working it around methodically here in the half court. Finney lost his dribble. They work it around the perimeter again. 
Mullen has shot it plenty from outside, obviously with those many three-pointers in the second quarter, but they've gotten plenty inside as well. Finney gets a seal from a teammate, puts up the shot, tough angle, can't get it to go, rebound Kramer, and Kramer didn't hear his teammates call Wolf, has it knocked away, turnover back to Mullen, and now a foul going to be called on the fight for the loose ball. And this one going to go against Sand Hills Valley's Leighton Connell. He'll be the first player on, well, let's see. They say that's the first foul on him. I had him for two. We'll see if that sticks. Back the other way, the three is put up and in by Alex Werner, and he joins the three-point club. One of the few Mullen Broncos to not hit a three. Puts his mark on the scorebook, and it's 23-17 to 17 Mullen. Sand Hills Valley trying to hang in there, and a foul going to be called on the floor here as Connell went to the drive. This foul going to be called on Bruns of Sand Hills Valley. Well, they said five, yep. Or excuse me, that foul going on Cal Finney. Sand Hills Valley back the other way. Connell underneath, nice kick out to Kramer. Kramer cut off, triple team inside, results in a kick out to Connell, and he hits a much needed three pointer for Sand Hills Valley. Leighton Connell has five in the game. First three pointer that's gone down for Sand Hills Valley as they're back to within three. Mavericks have kind of hung around, kind of weathered that storm in the second quarter that came from beyond the arc for Mullen. Finney with it, left side. Dribbles slowly, centers the basketball. Goes over right side to Harden. Harden almost has it picked off. Now it is picked off. Braden Powell the other way. Missed the lay-in, and the follow doesn't go as well for Isaac Goosey. Finney pulls down the third miss. Nice gather inside. Can't get the shot to go, but a travel going to be called before that. 4.26 to go, third quarter. Both of these teams scoring in spurts and missing in spurts. St. Hills Valley back in the half court. Powell out to Connell. Connell chopped the foot, shoved the arm out. Finney stays up on him. Connell hands it off. Powell lost it, had it knocked away. It'll stay Mavericks basketball in the half court. 4.04 to go third quarter. 20 to 17 was the score at the half in favor of Mullen. It's only 23 to 20 now. Nice skip pass, laying it up and in on the opposite side is Cooper Layer. Scores two for Sand Hills Valley, and it's a one-point game again. Finney into the front court, gives it off. Kramer pulls it away, turnover, and now a blocking foul is going to be called as Kramer went right through Kyle Finney. And Kyle will pick up another foul. That is his second. Mullen now with seven turnovers unofficially in this ball game. Nursing that one point lead. Powell with it, Sand Hills Valley hands it off. Now gets it back. From the corner, gives it up to Connell. They work it around left side to Goosey. Goosey to Powell, the give and go. Knocked out of there, recovered by Kramer. Kramer off the side of the backboard and off the miss. Jump ball is called. Possession arrow will give it to Mullen. Finney dribbles it up, 3.15 to go here, third quarter. Mullen leading by one, 23 to 22 in this four and five seed boys matchup in the MDAC tournament from Callaway. Finney with the basketball, gets a screen, pull up three, got them all, and Kyle Finney hits another three-pointer. That's his second. He's got eight in the game. Kramer back to the basket, top of the key, gives it off to Connell, wants to answer, just rolls out. Nice crash of the boards by Alex Werner, and it's back to Mullen, looking to extend this four-point lead. Finney. 
feeling it, left it short. Ball goes out of bounds, and we'll go back to Sand Hills Valley. BJ Go fourth back into the game for Sand Hills Valley. He'll play point guard as Kramer hands it into him. Sand Hills Valley hanging around despite six three pointers in the second and third quarter by Mullen. Go forth in the corner to Layer. They play a little bit of catch. Go forth on the right wing, dribbles it forward a bit. Werner playing off of him. Powell, high post. Hands it off to Connell. Connell, step back three-pointer, rattles out of there, just misses again. Rebound to Jacob Walker of Mullen. Kramer applying some pressure in the backcourt. Ball off to Finney, brings it into the front court. A minute 50 to go third quarter. Mullen basketball, four-point Bronco lead. Brandon Harden. Centers the ball and a blocking foul going to be called here on Braden Powell. Picks up his first by my mark. And the scoreboard confirms that. Slap of the ball by Finney. Gets it into Walker. Walker, high post. Gets it out to Harden. Back to Finney. And now back to Walker. They try to get it back inside. They do. Jacob Walker missed it. Fight for the rebound is pulled out of there by Cooper Layer. Sand Hills Valley wants to run. Minute 19 to go here, third quarter. Connell left side. Doesn't like the look of the lob. Gives it off to Powell. Powell off to go for it. They lob it. And it's knocked out of there. Good defense on the back end by Ethan Harden of Mullen. It'll stay Sand Hills Valley basketball. They were trying to lob it down inside to Cooper Layer. The defense wasn't on the backside there momentarily, but Harden did a good job recovering. Layer taps it back into the hands of Kramer. Kramer pull up from 15, rattles one home. And again, Santos Valley to within two. Kyle Kramer with his first score here in the second half. Kyle Finney hands it off to Brandon Harden. Going to the weave again is Mullen, Ethan Harden coming the way of Finney, hands it off to Finney. Kyle, a couple of jab steps, finds some room, swims through, tries to go glass, left it short, might have been partially blocked. St. Hills Valley saves it in, and Connell's off running the other way. 30 seconds to go. Connell, nice drive, puts it up, can't get it to go. Rebound inside, Powell puts it up and in, and Braden Powell ties us at 26 apiece here in the third quarter. Finney brings it forward, glances up at the clock to see that there's 10 seconds left. Third quarter, tied at 26. Finney drives, drives goes around, go forth, and called for the travel. That extra hesitation, just a little bit too much if he went up with it before that. But that drag of the pivot foot called again, and it's a turnover back to Sand Hills Valley. Connell with three seconds, dribbles, half quarter, puts it up. Just short of the rim. Everyone at least drew an ooh out of that one. And it's 26 all as we head to the fourth. One minute up on the clock. They'll count that down, and we will determine a winner here in the fourth quarter after this on KCNI. Grocery and Mullen giving their customers the best food values is job one. They offer weekly specials in every department, including the freshest fruits and vegetables on the market. Their meat department features certified Angus beef. Add to all that selection, friendly customer service, and you'll see why their customers keep coming back again and again. Another proud sponsor of high school sports broadcasts, Mackey's Grocery in Mullen, your Sand Hills Food Center. We've got spirit, yes we do. We've got spirit, how about you? Here at Nebraska State Bank, we've got school spirit. Introducing mascot debit cards from Nebraska State Bank. Now you can go to your local NSB branch and request a new debit card for your favorite high school team. The Broken Bow Indians, South Loop Bobcats, or Ansela Murder debit cards are available by instant issue. You'll only pay $10, and the entire amount will be passed along to your school. It's a win-win situation, right? Take your school pride to the next level at Nebraska State Bank and Trust. Member FDIC. 
Welcome back to Callaway as the fourth quarter is upon us. Sand Hills Valley outscoring Mullen 9-6 to six there in the third period to knot us up at 26 apiece. If you remember back to halftime, it was a 20-17 to 17 Mullen lead. Go for it. Drives in. Foul called. And a charge is drawn. Finney set up camp. Kept the feet there. And go forth went right through him. And that's a big time way to start the quarter if you're Mullen. Those are momentum plays. Those block charge calls going your way. Feel really, really good as go forth picks up his first. Finney into the front court, 26 all, as we're 15 seconds into the final quarter of this one. Driving in, Harden, defense leaves him. Harden looked at the reverse lay-in, gives it off. Finney up top, three up. Three doesn't go for Ethan Harden. Rebound to Sand Hills Valley. Kramer wants to work it ahead. It's almost thrown away and now ripped away, but a timeout is awarded to Sand Hills Valley and the Mullen Faithful, not a big fan of that one. Nonetheless, a timeout is awarded 40 seconds into the fourth quarter. And we'll take a moment to thank another of our sponsors while we have that moment. Your friends at Clank Financial are honored to help with any of your health and life insurance questions, as well as any retirement planning needs you might have. You can reach them at 872-6810. Clank Financial, located in downtown Broken Bow at 940 South D Street. Again, make sure you stick around. Game number two of this doubleheader here in Callaway will bring the top-seeded South Loop against the eight-seeded Brady Eagles. We'll have that for you in all the same places you're listening and watching at this moment. Go forth, brings it into the front court, off right side to Kramer. 45 seconds into the fourth quarter, all knotted at 26 in this one. Kramer almost has his pocket picked by Finney. Go forth, back to Kramer. Kramer swims the ball through, drives in, fits it down inside. Nice feed to Layer. He is fouled and will go to the line. Tell you what, Cooper Layer has really been doing a really good job of finding those spaces inside this Mullen defense in the lane as the foul is called on Ethan Harden as Layer knocks home the first and breaks the tie. First point of the fourth quarter for either of these teams. Layer can't get the second one to go. Fight for the rebound is going to result in a jump ball. And the possession arrow will go back to Mullen. Twenty-seven to twenty-six. Sand Hills Valley breaks the tie on the other end on the free throw by Cooper Layer. And now Sand Hills Valley applying some pressure. And they do get a turnover instantly. Go forth into the lane, scoops it up, can't get it to go. Gets his own miss and saves it inbounds. Connell thought about the three, drives into the short corner, cut off there. Has to skip it all the way up top to go forth. St. Hills Valley backs out of that helter skelter situation and resets. Go forth, left side. Connell, deep three pointer. Oh, he gets them all. The bottom of the net. And it's a three-pointer for St. Hills Valley. And the Mavericks go up by four. Connell has hit two three-pointers, one in each of the third and fourth quarter to pay St. Hills Valley here in the second half. Finney resets, gives it over left side to Harden. They work it back around to Finney. Goforth has been playing really good defense on him here as of late. Finney, one dribble, works near side. Defense steps off of him a little bit, can't get the three to go. It's one and done as Connell pulls down the weak side rebound. Leighton Connell over to go fourth, 5.49 to go fourth quarter. Sand Hills Valley leading by four, 30 to 26. Kramer, nice little give and go, but it's off of the outstretched arm of Ethan Harden. Turnover, Sand Hills Valley. They haven't had too many of those this evening. It's been an all-around clean game for Sand Hills Valley for most of this one. 5.35 to go fourth quarter. Mullen into the front court. Up top with it, Walker. One dribble, gives it off to Finney. 
Isaac Goosey, Dean up Finney. They switch on the screen, and it's intercepted. He was looking for Walker in the lane. Connell comes away with it. Leighton Connell, floater from 15, left it short, rebound into the hands of Mullen. Warner came down with it, now Finney into the front court. Kyle Finney, one on four, has to back it out. Lost his dribble. Gives it up top to Harden. Ethan gives it back to Kyle, and we're under five to go here fourth quarter. Walker with it up top. Off to Finney. Finney gives it off to Brandon Harden. Lost it. St. Hills Valley on the ground. Good hustle there by Isaac Goosey. Forces the turnover. Connell back into the front court. Four-point lead for the Sand Hills Valley Mavericks. Looking for more. Goosey to Kramer. Kramer gives it in. Layer. Drop step. Can't get the shot to go. One and done. Mullen pulls down the miss. Finney into the front court. Hands it off to Brandon Harden. Harden loses the dribble on the wing. Deed up there by Connell and a timeout called by Coach Ryan to Mullen. Wants to talk some things over. With 4.14 to go, fourth quarter, it's Sand Hills Valley leading Mullen 30 to 26. When your car gets dented, dinged, smashed, or smacked, the last thing you should have to worry about is it being in the right hands to get it fixed. When you choose Rod's Body and Paint at Broken Bow, your vehicle will leave their shop looking great. Don't forget, Rod can also help you with those windshield chips. Take care of them before they get worse and cost you more money. If your windshield already needs replaced, they can do that too. Rod's Body and Paint on the curb, west of Broken Bow. Thrivent is proud to support our local sports teams as they work hard to achieve their goals. Thrivent representative Scott Harvey is excited to help you reach your financial goals. He'll help you create a financial strategy that reflects your priorities and protects what matters most to you. Whether it's insurance, investments, or planning for retirement, give Scott Harvey and Thrivent Financial a call today at 308-872-2511. Coach Brad Wright calling a timeout for Mullen. No doubt looking to set at least one play up out of the timeout. We'll see what Mullen can do with it. Jacob Walker brings it down, hands it off to Finney. Finney drives forward, goes to the weave again. Brandon Harden, right to left as you're viewing on the video stream. Now Walker reverses between the rings, looking for Finney, hands it off to him. Finney drives in, spin move, puts it up. Foul called, and two officials both blowing the whistle. It's going to be a foul in the act of shooting. This one going to be whistled on Isaac Goosey, his second. This might just be what the doctor ordered for Mullen as Finney goes to the line and knocks home the first. 30-27 to 27 the lead for Sand Hills Valley. Finney can't get the second one to go. Layer pulls it down. Finney comes in there and ties him up. The possession arrow goes to Sand Hills Valley, however, but Coach Wright likes the hustle. You hear him clapping the hands. Not many free throws shot in this one total. Quick glance, eight on my score sheet here. Kramer holds it between the rings, now uses the bounce, goes left side. They work it around far side to Powell. Powell, a couple of jabs of the feet, now work it around left side to Kramer. Kramer gets it into layer. It's knocked away and turned over to Mullen. Finney leading the break the other direction. One on three. He doesn't care. Tries to find the angle. Can't quite get it to go. Rims out. Rebound to Connell. Connell trying to outrace everybody. Does so. Puts it up. Can't get it to go. Gets his miss and dribbles it out of harm's way. And now a three from the corner is put up by Isaac Goosey. He joins the three-point club as several players on both teams have hit a three, and it's 33-27 to answer the other way just that quick. Ethan Harden knocks in a three, his second of the evening, and a timeout is taken on the floor. 2.48 to go fourth quarter. Sand Hills Valley leads it 33-30. 
Producers know that healthy soil is the foundation for profitable, productive, and sound agricultural systems. Learn more about grazing strategies for optimum benefit to your herd and your soil, along with other related topics at Arrowseed's annual Soil Health Regeneration Conference, Wednesday the 31st in Broken Bow, featuring Nick Smith from Epworth, Iowa. Seating is limited for this free conference, so pre-registration by January 25th is required. Learn more and register online at arrowseed.com or call Arrowseed and Broken Bow by January 25th. Welcome back to Callaway as we get back to the action. 2.48 to go in the fourth quarter. Sandhills Valley leads it 33-30. to They come in as the five seed. Mullen as the four seed. Kramer with it up top. Hands it off to Connell. Back to Kramer. And the perimeter catch continues for Sandhills Valley, who's definitely in no rush to shoot the basketball. With this three-point lead, Kramer now right side, gives it back up to Goosey. Defensive pressure from Werner comes out on him and forces a turnover. Sandhills Valley, for the most part, playing really clean basketball, but any coach will tell you any turnover is not a good turnover, no matter what the timing is. And now Mullen down three, shooting the ball really, really well from beyond the arc, very much in this one, with under two minutes to go, fourth quarter. Finney with it right side, holds it up, gives it off to Harden. Ethan, couple of jab steps off to Brandon Harden. Back up top to Walker. Brandon Harden with the bounce. Minute 40 to go fourth quarter. Sand Hills Valley still digging in there defensively. Nice little flare out to Ethan Harden. Jab step, 10-footer, can't get it to go. Nice weak side rebound by layer of Sand Hills Valley. And with a minute 25, up three, Kramer loses his bounce, got left alone in the backcourt, and a timeout taken very quickly by Coach McVay and the Sand Hills Valley bench. Minute 23 to go, fourth quarter. It's 33 to 30, Sand Hills Valley with the lead and the basketball when we come back. The start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? Oh, no way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. Contact your local shelter insurance agents, Brent Custer or Seth Pearson in Broken Bow. Custer Federal has been helping customers acquire new and or improve existing homes for over 90 years. We are excited to have the opportunity to help you finance your home purchase, improvement, or refinance. Whether it is move-in ready or a fixer-upper, we have mortgage experts who are up to speed on all types of financial solutions. We will work with you from application to closing to make the process as easy as possible. Get the keys to your dream home with Custer Federal, member FDIC, equal housing lender. As we come back to the action between Sand Hills Valley and Mullen, an update on our sister station KBBN. Twin Loop on the other side of the bracket, leading in Selma Myrna 37 to 34 at the end of three quarters. Brent Apperson and Larry Kotner with the call over there on KBBN radio. Defensive pressure is ramped up for Mullen here, and a foul going to be called on Kyle Finney as he is playing defense on Leighton Connell. Finney hears the foul call, nods the head, and says that's okay. And sure that it is part of the plan for Mullen to get a few more fouls there, kind of get close to that bonus situation. Powell in the backcourt, hands it off to Connell. And the foul going to be called, a charge on Powell as Finney worked around and got the whistle defensively. That's the best case scenario for Mullen. Down three, savvy play from the senior Kyle Finney gets the whistle from the official. The second foul is called on Braden Powell. And now Mullen doesn't even have to let Sandhills Valley shoot the basketball. They get the ball back themselves. Down three. Now a minute to go in the contest. Finney comes near side. Double, almost triple teamed. Out to Walker. His three is up and rattled in. And we are tied at 33 with 50 seconds to go. Defensive pressure still ramped up here from Mullen. Connell left his feet, almost turned it over. A foul going to be called as he was looking for the entry pass to Layer. We'll see who this one's whistled on. It's going to go 
on Mullins, Alex Werner. Third team foul on Mullen. Sand Hills Valley, deed up well. They do get it into layer on the four count. Now Connell right side. 38 seconds to go, fourth quarter. Left side, Goosey with it, tries to center, gets it off to Powell, high post. Powell surveys, doesn't use the bounce, hands it off to Connell. Connell out to Kramer. Kramer drives in, post to post pass, layer goes up and scores it. What a find from Cole Kramer. And it's a two point lead here late in this one. 15 seconds to go in the game. And Coach Wright calls a timeout for Mullen. They trail by two, 13 seconds left on the fourth quarter clock here in Callaway. We'll come back for those 13 seconds after this. The Grocery Cart Rewards Program is a great way for you to save on items in the aisles and on gas for your car. Every month we feature new products you can purchase with points you earn from shopping at the Grocery Cart. Or use your points at Casey's and Broken Bow to fill up with a discount. Signing up is easy, just ask them at the Grocery Cart. Scan your card and earn those free groceries. It's easy as that at Grocery Cart and Broken Bow. Well, we've definitely had an exciting opening game, and if I would have told you that this one came down to the last 15 seconds when we started this one out, the way the scoring started, it was kind of slow at the very beginning of this one, but we've kind of been pretty tight since then. It was a three-point lead for Mullen, 20-17 to 17 going into halftime. Sand Hills Valley outscored Mullen 9-6 to 6 in the third quarter. And now Mullen has scored four to Sand Hills Valley's nine. They trail by two, but it's Mullen basketball as we start here with 13.1 on the clock. Inbounds goes to Finney. Finney glances up at the clock, 10 seconds to go. Finney has it picked away, and now a foul is going to be called. Goosey got his hand on it. I don't think he heard the whistle. He got right back up on his feet and was ready to play defense again. They call the foul on Isaac Goosey. That is his third. He falls back on defense. Finney gets the pocket pass. Five seconds to go. Finney drives in, tries to go glass, can't get it to go. Kramer the rebound. Foul going to be whistled. We'll see which way this goes. Either way, if you're Mullen, you need to have a situation where the clock stops. This is going to be an inbounds going on the baseline. The foul was called on Mullen's Alex Werner. And now Mullen essentially needs to intercept a baseline pass on the near side from Sand Hills Valley, put it up, and score it with 1.1 seconds on the clock. Certainly not an insurmountable thing to do. But it's going to be pretty darn tough. St. Hills Valley leads at 35 to 33, just over a second left in this four and five matchup in the MNAC Boys Basketball Tournament. Agland Day TV would like to acknowledge all the local athletes and coaches from our area. We are proud of the athletes for the sportsmanship, hard work, and dedication that they put into each season. Agland Day TV knows all about working hard and playing hard, just like a Polaris. Best of luck to all the local teams from Agland Day TV, West Highway 2, Broken Bow. ATVs can be hazardous to operate. Polaris adult models are for riders age 16 and older. Always wear a helmet and be sure to take a training course. Polaris machines are not intended for on-road use. Welcome back to Callaway as our first of two games is going down to the wire. Sand Hills Valley has been right in this one from the very beginning, have never been out of touch. Both teams have led plenty. Both teams have trailed plenty. Right now trailing with 1.1 is Mullen. They're on defense. Kramer, baseball pass all the way down to Powell. He's got to touch it. He doesn't. Ball still live. And coming over and touching it and ending the ball game is Connell. As the final 1.1 runs out, some drama there as the ball bounced high. In fact, went off the front of the rim on the opposite side of the floor. All of that said, Sand Hills Valley gets the 35 to 33 victory here in the opening contest of two. Whew. Well, if we can only hope to have that exciting of a game in the second half of our doubleheader, 
you certainly should stick around. Sand Hills Express YouTube and Facebook, as well as Casey and I Pure Country, will have it for you coming up. Right now, we'll take one last commercial break, and when we come back, we'll break down this matchup that we just saw between Sand Hills Valley and Mullen. Thanks for choosing Central Nebraska's Sports Source. Cold weather does anything. It makes us notice the drafts our homes are letting through. Meat Lumber and Broken Bow is proud to be your local solution for sailing up those drafts and making your home more efficient. They sell quality Anderson windows. Both 100 and 400 series are available for your new construction or replacement project. Of course, they have the foam for around those windows too. Meat Lumber is still being remodeled, but inside, their knowledgeable staff is ready to help with your DIY project. Are you suffering from back pain? Team Physical Therapy can help by addressing the root cause of your pain. 872-5111. Team Physical Therapy focuses on manual therapy, exercise, stretching, and personalized plan for you. Call 872-5111. Physical Therapy can reduce inflammation, improve flexibility, and increase strength. Don't let that low back pain slow you down. Call Team Physical Therapy at 872 872- 5111 or check out any of our locations in Broken Bow, Burwell, Callaway, Gothenburg, or Kearney. Geared for Sports in Broken Bow is all about gearing you up for sports, whether it's for participating or for cheering from the stands. They have it. Scott is extending their semi annual shoe sale in case the cold and snow has been keeping you from shopping. All regular price shoes are marked 20% off. Head through their door on the west side of the square and take advantage of big savings. The semi-annual shoe sale at Geared for Sports. Open Monday to Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturdays, 10 to 4. Get your gear at Geared for Sports in Broken Bow. Sargent Irrigation may be known worldwide, but their roots are right here in central Nebraska, something they are very proud of. They hire right here in the heartland and know their success is due to those quality employees. As a way of showing support for the community, Sargent Irrigation sponsors high school sports broadcasts so those unable to attend can follow the action. Enjoy the broadcast, sponsored in part by Sargent Irrigation in Broken Bow. Happy New Year from all of us at Melham Medical Center in Broken Bow. We thank you for trusting us with your family's care throughout the year. And we look forward to making your healthcare experience comfortable and dependable for years to come. We invite you to visit our website, melham.org, to learn more about us, including our services, history, careers, and more. That's melham.org. Melham Medical Center, large enough to serve, small enough to care. Wishing you a happy new year. The student-athletes you're cheering on during this broadcast practice and study in order to get their competition and schoolwork done right. At Trotter Service, they do the same, except with your vehicle repairs. Whether you need a new battery, brake work, an alignment, tires, wheels, or an overhaul, trust their auto repair specialists to tackle the job. Don't forget bulk oil and fuel delivery and on-the-farm tire truck service, too. Proud to help bring you this broadcast, Trotter Service in Broken Bow. Acquiring a lush green lawn is a lot of work. Worry no more. HZ Lawn Pro's fertilizer program is the solution to ease your mind and lessen your work. Any time of the season is a good time to start. Eliminate weeds, strengthen your grass, and even keep bugs away with liquid fertilizer treatments mixed with micronutrients for a recipe that works specifically in this area. 30 years of experience. 308-870-1762 for A to Z Lawn Pro. That's A to Z Lawn Pro at 870-1762. Well, the first game of two has gone final here in Callaway as you hear the buzzer in the background starting the 20-minute countdown to South Loop and Brady. As we wrap up that first broadcast, let's give you a rundown on the scoring in, the, in that game, Sand Hills Valley uh, had an 8-4 to four lead coming out of the first quarter. Mullen in the second and third quarter would lead much of those two uh, thanks to a second quarter where they outscored the Mavericks 16-9. to nine. But from there on out, Sand Hills Valley outscoring Mullen in the third and fourth quarter to get this 35-33 to 33 victory this evening. Let's take a look at the scoring. First for Sand Hills Valley, they were led in scoring by Braden Powell with nine points, eight for Leighton Connell, seven for Cooper Layer, six for Kyle Kramer, three points put in by Isaac Goosey, and two for Kaysen Johnston to round out the scoring. No scores in double digits 
for Sand Hills Valley. Six different players in the scorebook this evening. For Mullen, they were led in scoring by Kyle Finney. Did a little bit of everything, hit some from beyond the arc. Was the only player for Mullen to shoot any free throws on the evening. Seven points for Jacob Walker, eight points for Ethan Harden, three points apiece by Brandon Harden and Alex Werner to round out the scoring for Mullen. Turnover-wise, neither team really turned it over an abnormal amount or way too many more than the other team. Things were pretty even there. Rebounding the ball was pretty even. Not too many offensive rebounds were allowed by either of these teams here this night. That is something certainly these two coaches would like to build on going forward. So it's an advancement for Sand Hills Valley. They are the five seed. They will move on and to the semifinals on Thursday. Now our next game is South Loop and Brady. South Loop is the one seed. They are hosting here in Callaway as the one seed. Brady comes in at the eight seed. We'll step away, listen to a little music here on KC and I Pure Country, and when we come back, we'll bring you that matchup between South Loop and Brady. Thank you so much for tuning in to KC and I Pure Country. Remember, we're online at kcni1280.com as well as the free KC and I app. If you want to watch the video stream with the radio call on top of it, you are invited to swing over to Sand Hills Express on YouTube or Facebook.
Welcome to another broadcast of high school sports here on Central Nebraska's Sports Source. We want to say thanks to all the community-spirited businesses who bring you our coverage. We hope that you'll join us thanking those sponsors by giving them your patronage. Now, let's go live for our coverage of exciting sports action on Central Nebraska Sports Source. Good evening again Good and evening. welcome back to Callaway High School as we get you set up for our second of two broadcasts here this evening as South Loop, the top seed, hosting Brady, the number eight seed, coming into the tournament. My name is Jeremy Scheib, joined again by Summer Yarrington behind the camera as we get you set up for South Loop and Brady from here in Callaway. As we get started, we want to thank the sponsors making this broadcast possible to you. Here are who they include. They include J.R. Meyer Insurance, bringing you tonight's starting lineups, Thrive in Financial, Four County Heating and Air, and Backbone of Healthcare. Thank you as well to Clang Financial, Callaway Market, the Callaway District Hospital with the Arnold and Callaway Medical Clinics, South Loop Community Pharmacy, Agribest Feeds, Rain Dance Repair, Nebraska Owners Insurance Agency, Rocks Underground, Lodi Seed, Brady Booster Club, Norder Supply, First State Insurance, The Hitch and Post Saloon, A1 Auto Repair, Mills Hardware, Consolidated, Badgley Well Service, Design Homes, Lane Chesley, Henry's Callaway Bar, and Eggleston Oil. Thank you as well to these sponsors you hear on every single high school sports and Husker sports broadcast at KCNI KBBN. A to Z Lawn Pro, Trotter Service, Melham Medical Center, Sergeant Irrigation, Geared for Sports, Team Physical Therapy, Meat Lumber, Agland ATV, Grocery Cart, Custer Federal State Bank, Shelter Insurance, Aero Seed, Ron's Body and Paint, and Nebraska State Bank. Many of you are watching the video stream available to you on the Sandhills Express YouTube and Facebook pages. At the top right-hand part of your screen, you will notice sponsors scrolling there throughout the evening. They include Mills Hardware, Palmer Monument, The Grocery Cart, Agland ATV, Nebraska State Bank, Insurance of the Heartland, Meat Lumber Broken Bow, Colligan, Broken Bow Livestock, Lines Appliance, The Callaway District Hospital, Agribest Feeds, Sandhills Custom Creations, Custer Public Power District, Cattleman's Cut, BD Broken Bow, and Gibbons Seed. Thank you so much to every single one of those sponsors for helping bring you radio and video action from Central Nebraska's Sports Source. We'll take a break and hear from some of those sponsors. When we come back, we'll get you set up for this contest between the one seed, South Loop Bobcats, and the eight seed, Brady Eagles. At the Callaway Market, they appreciate their amazing customers who choose to shop local with them. That's why they offer their loyalty program, which has allowed them to give thousands of dollars back to the community. Your friends at Callaway Market invite you to shop their aisles, quality meat counter, and bountiful and beautiful produce section. On Mondays, a senior discount of 10% off is given. Thank you for shopping local from the Callaway Market. Open 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Saturday and Sundays from 11 till 5. The Callaway District Hospital, along with the Arnold and Callaway Medical Clinics, love supporting the community and are happy to be able to help bring you this sports broadcast. The Callaway District Hospital and Medical Clinics delight in serving the area with their public transportation service. Call 308-212-0464 to schedule a ride today. Areas served and destinations requested will be evaluated on a first-come, first-served basis. Cheering on the area athletes from the Callaway District Hospital and the Arnold and Callaway Medical Clinics. The staff at South Loop Pharmacy in Callaway is proud to be a sponsor of this sports broadcast. They support all the area athletes and are pleased to be a part of the South Loop Bobcat community. Their pharmacy provides knowledge on what is best for you and your family members. Stop in and talk to them today. South Loop Pharmacy in Callaway, knowing you by name, not just a refill number. Agribest Feeds of Callaway is your source for all things ranching. They have what you need as calving comes around, including ear tags, vet supplies, windscreens, go lights, milk replacer, royal heat, calf warmers, and more. They also carry Powder River and Tartar livestock equipment, and their Sweet Pro Lick Tubs, Fresh Start, and Redmond Salt provide your animals with the outstanding nutrition they need. They carry the top-rated AeroQuip line of shoots and livestock equipment, too, behind the community center in Callaway or at 836-2298. Agribest Feeds of Callaway. Have you heard the buzz? 
Yeah, it's got to be my neighbor's beehive. Beehive? Yeah, it's that new pivot controller from Beehive Ag. Cool, what's it do? Your phone becomes your pivot panel. You can control your pivot, pump, end gun, and it even has GPS and VRI. Breathe new technology into old pivots. Really? The subscription must be expensive. No, there is no subscription fee. Contact Rich Reynolds with Rain Dance Repair at 308-870-4455. That's 870-4455. At Nebraska Owners Insurance Agency, they are committed to building Nebraska's future one family at a time. That starts with the best service when it comes to your family, your belongings, and of course yourself. For auto, home, farm, or health and life free quotes, contact them at their office in Callaway or in Broken Bow. Nebraska Owners Insurance Agency wishes all of our area athletes the very best in competition. Welcome back to Callaway. South Loop and Brady warming up. We're about six and a half minutes away from the tip of this one here on KCNI and I Pure Country and Sand Hills Express YouTube and Facebook pages. Let's take a look at the year that both of these teams are having. You look the side of Brady, their first two games, uh, they were one and one after two, went on a little bit of a losing streak, getting a win over Arthur County back on the 12th of this month. Currently on a two-game skid, they had a chance to see the South Loop team back on the 13th. That game, however, was postponed. Have not had an opportunity to talk to anybody here in attendance from either of these teams to see if that one has had a date set or not. Right now, still stands on their schedule as a postponed date. Uh, Brady coming into this one through eight games, being led by Sean McBride, the senior, at uh, just over 12 points per game. Also, uh, Riley Shirk, uh, senior leader for this team, scoring just short of 10 points per game. That was through uh, about five to eight games. So I uh, would venture to guess that things are likely the same as far as McBride and Shirk being the leaders in this one as they and Joel Miller are three senior starters. The other two starters for Brady are freshmen. We go to the other side and look at South Loop. Very strong season so far. South Loop top 10 rated in the state of Nebraska in their class. Actually coming off of a loss, a game that we had for you at Central Nebraska Sports Source. They played at Arcadia Loop City and kind of just ran into a Rebel squad that simply could not miss from three-point range. Several different Rebels getting in on the action there. That game went to overtime and the three-pointers kept going and it was a big extra overtime quarter for Arcadia Loop City. The C2 team at five and nine getting the upset over the South Loop squad. And it, that was kind of sandwiched by a canceled game at Maxwell, a postponed game at Brady, and then a postponed game at Ansley Litchfield that a lot of folks were looking forward to in that boys contest would have been a top 10 matchup. So this team has not played that much. They've played essentially one game since the 6th of January. They're nine and two on the season. They were the MNAC champions in 2023, and all five of their starters here tonight were on that championship MNAC squad. South Loop certainly one of the favorites to go the distance and win the MNAC championship for a second year in a row. But Brady's got something to say about that. They'll be playing defense and offense against the Bobcats this evening here in Callaway, and we're about four minutes away from hashing this one out and seeing who is on the winning end between South Loop and Brady. We welcome you back after this for the starting lineups on KCNI Pure Country and Sand Hills Express video. Rocks Underground serves Central Nebraska with expertise in water and irrigation services. Need some help? Call Rocky Dockweiler at 870-3457. Rocky salutes the student athletes of the area and all the hard work they put in each and every season and is very proud of the young men and women that live in Central Nebraska. Enjoy this broadcast brought to you in part by Rocky Dockweiler with Rocks Underground in Oconto. Lodi Seed Service LLC, your trusted channel seedsman, now serving the Callaway area. They are proud to bring you this sports broadcast. Why choose them? High quality channel seeds, expertise tailored to your farm, local knowledge paired with global resources, and of course, unmatched customer service. To get on the path to achieving your farming goals or exceeding them, contact Tim Rosentrader, Abe Hinman, or T.R. Anderson with Lodi Seed Services. 
sponsors of this broadcast. The Brady Talent Booster Club is a proud supporter of the Brady Eagles, both academically and in athletics. The athletes you are hearing play work hard throughout the year to get better at the sports they participate in. But every Brady Eagle, athlete or not, is a student that has a big impact on our society now and will impact it in the future. The Brady Talent Booster Club salutes them and is proud to be a sponsor of this broadcast. At Norder Supply Incorporated in Callaway, you'll often see them sporting their South Loop Bobcat Blue because they love to support their team. Student-athletes work hard both academically and in sports, and Norder Supply is proud to support their dedication by helping bring you this sports broadcast on the radio. Wishing the team the best of luck and saying, Go Bobcats! Norder Supply Incorporated in Callaway. At First State Insurance of Arnold, they're proud to say that they can offer you choices. Those choices save you money. They can offer you a variety of choices because they are independent agents. First State Insurance is cheering on the Bobcats all the way. Call Becky or Taylor at 848-2522 to set up an appointment with First State Insurance of Arnold. Proud supporters of the South Loop Bobcat coaches and players who work so hard. You can find the Hitch and Post Saloon on Main Street in Brady. They're open daily and are serving up delicious specials throughout the week. Monday, it's 99-cent wings and Rubens, and on Tuesday, they have taco specials with $2 margaritas. Wednesday is a great day for great chicken fried steak. Thursday, head into the Hitch and Post Saloon for Jack Burgers, Patty Melts, and $1 draws. Friday and Saturday, they'll serve you delicious cuts of prime rib. Stop by and see them at the Hitch and Post Saloon in Brady. Proud supporters of the Brady Eagles. Welcome back to Callaway as they're getting set to update all of the folks in attendance here in Callaway on who the starting lineups will be. We'll bring you that information here shortly. First, want to bring you an update on what's going on on our sister station, KBBN Radio. Uh, Myers of Anselmo Murda hit a three to tie the ball game with Twin Loop with uh, at 44 points with just under 10 seconds to go. Quincy Riker of Twin Loop then answered, hitting a three-pointer with just two seconds left to lift Twin Loop over Anselmo Myrna by a score of 47 to 44. So close one there in that contest over on the other half of the MNAC Boys Tournament. So Twin Loop, the three seed, advancing over the six seed Anselmo Myrna into the semifinals. Let's take a look at your starting lineups for tonight's contest being brought to you by the J.R. Meyer Insurance Agency of Callaway. As your local independent insurance agency, they can offer coverage by many of the most respected companies in the nation. Call 836-2245 for J.R. Meyer Insurance. Let's first take a look at the starters for the Brady Eagles, the visitors on the scoreboard this evening. Sean McBride, we mentioned him as one of the senior leaders for this squad. He's in the starting lineup. Riley Shirk is in the starting lineup as well, also a senior. Rounding out the seniors in the starting lineup, Joel Miller is a senior. And the two freshmen I mentioned in the pregame, Canning Golter is a freshman, as is Peyton Miller joining him as a freshman in the starting lineup. Chris Bletchy is the head coach. He is assisted by Ryan Sanger and Kate Lovett. Now the starting lineup for the South Loop Bobcats. Dylan Pandorf is a sophomore standing 6-1. Connor Paulson also a sophomore at 5-9. Cash Gracie a senior 6-3. Joey Salik, a senior at 6'3", and Trey Connell is a senior standing 5'10". Jeff Cole is the head coach of the Bobcats. He is assisted by Mike Waverka and Joel Card. Teams are out on the floor. Eight minutes up on the clock. The whistle is blown, and the tip was won by Brady, but taken by South Loop. Connell missed the lay-in. Rebound to Brady, and the Eagles into the front court. A little bit of a slick spot over there on the other side. Brady turns the ball over. Cash Gracie the other way and sends it home with the one-handed dunk. A good way for South Loop to start with a dunk from Gracie to open this one up. It's 2-0 South Loop early. Brady into the front court. Ball poked away. Paulson got a hand on that one. Brady will inbound it over there. Everyone still kind of in that area, that slick spot. Kind of chopping their feet around, trying to work it away. High post look, spinning, 
getting knocked around, putting up a shot and missing was Brady's Sean McBride. Rebound to South Loop, back the other way. Gracie puts the ball down, puts it up, can't score it, scoops it up, can't get the follow. Rebound to Brady, back the other way. Shirk with the bounce. Skip pass, intercepted by Joey Salick to Gracie. Layup is good, and it's 4 to nothing South Loop one minute into this one. And that with turnover, Connell takes it back. Connell driving in, laying it up, scoring. Hits the deck as he scores the fifth and sixth point for South Loop. Brady back into the front court. Shirt passes over the trap off to McBride. They work it around. Far corner to Golter. Has it knocked away. It'll stay Brady basketball. 6.34 to go here first quarter. They get the inbound over to Shirk. Shirk, one dribble, puts up the shot, can't get it to go. Rebound to Connell, spins out of there. Works the ball quickly to Gracie. Gracie, no look pass over to Pandorf, has it blocked away by Sean McBride. Good job by McBride being ready on that pass from Gracie down to Pandorf. Gracie passes up the open layup over to Pandorf, who had it slapped away. South Loop basketball right in front of us on the baseline. Nice pass in from Connell. And knowing what to do with it, Joey Salick goes right up with it, wide open under the basket. And it's 8 to nothing South Loop. And Brady going to throw that away because of the backcourt pressure of Pandorf. It'll be South Loop basketball, far sideline. Bobcats in control. Just short of two minutes into this one, up 8 to nothing. Connell comes near side, up top. Paulson's three off the side of the rim. Rebound out to Connell. Trey will reset. Now attacks, gives it over. Paulson, another shot at it. Can't get this one to go. Rebound to Connell. And South Loop again resets. Connell, hesitation. Pull up jumper, doesn't go. Paulson, the rebound, threw it right into Brady though. Brady back the other direction with Shirk on the drive. Backs it out quickly, double team, gives it up top. Now high post look, fading shot for McBride, can't get it to go. Follow is a miss by Golter, and this time a rebound pulled down defensively by South Loop. Five on five, Paulson in the corner, fakes it out to Sally. Now they go in the corner to Pandorf. Pandorf, one dribble back up to Connell. As we approach five minutes to go here first quarter. Paulson up to Pandorf, now far side Connell. Chucks up the three and hits the three, and Trey Connell adds to his scorebook total. Makes it five. Back the other way, Brady. Connell trying to intercept one over there on the sideline. It's knocked out of bounds, and three subs come in for South Loop on the dead ball. Gracie, Harper Johnson coming in. Also coming in, Rio Raymond. Brady to key it in. Skip it up top to McBride. Double team comes as he picks up his dribble. McBride swims it through. Three-pointer up by Shirk. Left it off the front of the rim. Long rebound, not controlled by Miller. Goes off his fingertips and out of bounds. Back to South Loop. Bob Gantz lead it 11 to nothing as we go under five minutes to go here first quarter. Connell walks the basketball up. Skips it over to Johnson. Working around inside to Raymond. Raymond pressured. And we'll see what the foul is. I think it's just a common out of bounds here. Whistle came kind of fast. Didn't know if there was going to be a foul call there. Now the no look from Connell into Raymond. And Rio lays it up and in. Two more for South Loop as Brady works back the other way under four and a half to go. Pass up the floor is intercepted by South Loop's crew with Toon. Connell the other way, skip pass. Harper Johnson quickly into Raymond. Raymond shoots over the outstretched arms of Joel Miller and scores two, and a timeout's gonna be called by Brady as South Loop is out to a 15 to nothing lead here early in the contest. We'll step away as well here on Central Nebraska's Sports Source. Boom, bang, pull. 
all sounds you never want to hear coming from your vehicle. A1 Auto Repair in Arnold is prepared to fix or prevent those sounds. If you're in need of auto and light truck service and repair, give Josh a call. 848-2542. That's 848-2542. It all starts with diagnosing the problem, then working to get you back on the road quickly with a vehicle you can depend on. A1 Auto Service in Arnold. Proud sponsors of this broadcast and high school sports. Four County Heating and Air owners Brian Hogg and Austin Cox serve the area with a combined 20 years of experience in the HVAC industry. They provide free estimates and 24-hour service. No matter what the temperature is outside, they'll make sure the temperature inside is just right. Call Four County Heating and Air in Broken Bow at 872-2258. And speaking of hot and cold, South Loop has been hot to start this one up 15 to nothing with 4.15 to go here first quarter. Brady basketball as we come out of the timeout break. Again, facing the pressure of South Loop. Raymond, big collision right there in the middle of the floor with Brady's Peyton Miller. And that foul going to be called on Rio, his first. First foul of the game total as we're just about halfway into the first quarter. Brady into the front court, receiving it in the front court was Cannon Golter. Had it kicked out of bounds by Connell. A few more seconds off the clock, but Brady in the front court now. Get it into McBride. McBride, a couple of dribbles between the legs. Now picks up the dribble, double teamed, gets it out to Miller. Peyton back to McBride. McBride trapped in the corner. Tries to dribble out of it, nowhere to go. Johnson and Connell on him, gets it out of there to Miller. And they work it around up top. Riley Shirk, now left side to Miller. Peyton, a couple of dribbles, back over to Shirk, takes the deep three-pointer, just off the back of the rim, couldn't get it to go. Board inside, but McBride couldn't get the follow. Now they work it back out to McBride after a second rebound. McBride can't get the step back three to go. Rebound Harper Johnson, South Loop off and running. Back the other way, Cash Gracie. Went up for the dunk, kind of got it caught on the rim momentarily, but muscled it through. And then Connell gets the steal and scores two more. And South Loop extends their lead off the scores from Cash Gracie and Trey Connell, 19 to nothing. And now a turnover. Cash Gracie out and running back the other way, puts it up and puts it down. Cash Gracie with eight points here in the first quarter and a timeout is called by Brady. 2.50 to go first quarter. It's 21 to nothing. South Loop on top here in Callaway. Mills Hardware is proud to support the local athletes. From painting to tools, sporting goods to office supplies, Mills Hardware is the place to go. Always remember if they don't have it, they will try to get it for you. They have 155 different suppliers that they work with and offer services like hunting, fishing, and park permits, key making, and more. They thank you for your continued patronage of their store. You're very important to them. Thank you from the Mills Hardware and Feed team. Welcome back to Callaway. Back to Coming out of the timeout, South Loop with the 21 to nothing lead with 2.50 to go here first quarter. Brady basketball out of the timeout. Again, facing this 1-3-1 full court pressure of South Loop. Peyton Miller skips it ahead. They break the press. McBride in the front court. Sean right to left. Now left wing. Fakes the pass. Looks for the lob. Doesn't go that way to Peyton Miller. Now in the corner, they go to Sanger. Sanger tries to fit it inside. It's intercepted inside by Raymond. To Harper Johnson in the front court. Up top, Paulson. Paulson, head fake, drives in, floater. Left it short, McBride the miss. Back comes Brady the other way. McBride hangs, gets it in the corner to Sanger. Back to McBride. McBride works around the double team, spins, puts up a shot, can't get it to go. It's left just short. And a foul called on the shot attempt. And Sean McBride will be headed to the line. That's going to be the second foul on Rio Raymond. He is the only player on either team to pick up any fouls. He's got both of them. 
McBride to the line. All net on the first one. McBride through the routine. Can't get the second one to go. Rebound with Toon. Paulson leads it ahead for South Loop to Johnson in the corner. Back up top to Paulson. Two to go here first quarter. 20-point lead South Loop. Watoon, jumper from 10. Can't get it to go. McBride battles for the rebound. Who's got it? Watoon does. Goes back up with it. Off the back of the rim. Brady comes away with it this time. No full court defense for South Loop this time off of the miss. But they do get a turnover. Watoon leading the break. Shot fake. Foul. Puts it up and scores it. And he'll go to the line looking for a third point this trip. That's going to be the first foul whistled on South Loops. Well, they put 15, excuse me, on uh, Brady's Peyton Miller. First foul total for Brady as Watoon goes to the line, tries to complete the three-point play, cannot, but tracks down his long miss. Driving inside, Rio Raymond can't get the shot to go, but another foul called on the shot attempt here. And we'll go back to that free throw line. And this is quickly going to be the second foul on Peyton Miller of Brady. Rio gets the first one to rattle in. That went off the rim, hard off the backboard, off the rim again. And Rio kind of gives that reaction like, oof. Got to take some off of that one. Rio spins the ball, puts it up, puts it right through. The adjustment was correct. He's got six in the quarter with those two makes. Watoon will go out for South Loop, coming in for the Bobcats, Lance Wooters, as Brady works back against this pressure of South Loop. McBride works it ahead. Shirk puts up the shot. Raymond pulls down the miss. South Loop again in the half court. Harper Johnson in the corner was looking inside to Wooters. They skip it instead all the way over to McFate. McFate back up to Paulson. Harper Johnson tries to get it into Raymond. It's knocked away. Turnover back to Brady. South Loop falls back on defense. Three-pointer put up and put in by Brady's Riley Shirk. Nice looking shot there by Riley. And that makes it an even four for Brady on the scoreboard. Brady back on defense and throwing it away is South Loop. Going up for the layup and putting it up and in is Cannon Golter. And it's a little miniature 5-0 run for Brady. 35 seconds to go first quarter. South Loop up 25-6. Harper Johnson deep on the wing. Holds it up. Now up top to Paulson. Paulson back to Johnson. Harper short corner. Wooters into Raymond. Raymond goes up. Left it short. Rebound pulled out of there by Brady's Brody Tellitz. McBride tracks down a loose ball, now brings it into the front court against Harper Johnson. Left his feet on the pass, affected the aim on it, and it's thrown away back to South Loop. Seven seconds left here in the first quarter. South Loop quickly into the front court. Harper Johnson up top to Paulson. Two seconds. Paulson puts up the three, left it short, and we'll go to the second quarter. South Loop leading it 25 to 6 on KCNI Pure Country Radio and the Sand Hills Express YouTube and Facebook pages. Consolidated Companies is a proud sponsor of our student athletes. Everyone wants to get to the events and cheer on their students, but sometimes you just can't. Keeping up to date on all the local sports is hard to do, but Consolidated Superfast Broadband can change that. Find all the latest information on local school and broadcast channel web pages, along with news and weather. For more information, call Consolidated at 1-800-742-7464. Plus, look for them now on Facebook, facebook.com slash consolidated companies. Your friends at Clank Financial are honored to help with any of your health and life insurance questions as well as any retirement planning needs you may have. You can reach them at 872-6810. Clank Financial, located in downtown Broken Bow at 940 South D Street. All South Loop 
Really getting things going there in the first quarter. Getting several different players in there off of the bench to get involved a little bit as well. Cash Gracie with eight points there in the first quarter. Seven points for Trey Connell, six for Rio Raymond in that opening quarter. On Brady's side, Riley Shirk put in a three. Cannon Golter scored one from the field for his two, and Sean McBride knocked one home from the free throw line. Brady into the front court, beating that press, driving in and scoring it. And the foul is Brady's Brody Tellitz. Good start to the second quarter for Brady as Tellitz will go to the line looking to complete the three-point play. That foul going to be whistled on Connor Paulson, his first. And Tellitz can't get the shot to go. Re rebound pulled out of there by Salik. Trey Connell quickly ahead to Paulson. Paulson holds it up and puts it up and in. Let the defense go by and then scored his first two of the game. Brady back the other way. Facing that full court pressure of the Bobcats. Kind of lobbing off a little bit now. Connell picks it off and then loses the basketball out of bounds. Nearly 30 seconds into this second quarter. A turnover each way there tallied. Probably about as, fist, as fast as you'll see. Now Brady into the front court. Salik picks this one off. Off to Gracie. Gracie misdirection. Miller commits the foul. Getting back on defense. And Gracie will go to the line. That'll be the first foul on Joel Miller of Brady. Cash Gracie to the line, goes through the routine, puts the first one up, and puts it in. One sub comes in for Brady, that's Peyton Miller. Cash Gracie's second does not go, rebound pulled out of there by Joel Miller. Into the front court, Brady, they find a man down low, lost the ball though, would have been a wide open layup. South Loop took it away momentarily. Brady recovered it. Shot doesn't go right in the lane. This time, South Loop the rebound. Connell looking out. Race everybody slipped on the floor, and a travel is called. Connell doesn't like it, but <laughs> that's what the call is going to be. You slip and you slide your feet. It's going to be the call, whether, whether the ground causes it or not. One minute into the second quarter, it's a 20-point lead for South Loop. Brady breaks the press, works it forward. Sally gets a hand on it. It's recovered by Brady, though. Only momentarily, though, stepping on the baseline was a South Loop player as they were trying to grab possession. It's Brady basketball on the far side of the floor. Brady to key it in, get it all the way up top. Connell turns it over. Connell lays it up and lays it in for two more for South Loop. His first points here in the second quarter. It's 30-8, to eight, South Loop. Back the other way. Miller hands it off. Golter with it. Back up top to McBride. Almost lost it. Recovers it. And now Paulson picks off the next pass. Cash Gracie the other way. Jams it home. Two more put in by South Loop. Adds Cash Gracie's first shot from the field here in the quarter to go with his one free throw. Back the other way, Brady swimming through the lane very, very well was Brady's Riley Shirk. Kind of lost the ball for a moment, recovered it right into a nice Euro step and just like that, Cash Gracie the other way and South Loop lays two more up and in and a timeout is taken on the floor. 34 to 10, it's a 24 point lead for the number one seed South Loop Bobcats here in Callaway. We'll step away and come back with the remainder of the first half after this. Actually, Well Service in Ocado is proud to sponsor this high school sports broadcast, featuring some of our awesome student athletes right here in central Nebraska. Cliff and his team at Badgley Well are always on call at 858-4409. From domestic to stock wells, call Badgley Well Service of Oconto. They have the experience to get the job done right. Call Badgley Well Service of Oconto when water is the goal. Badgley Well is happy to help bring you this sports broadcast. Lane Chesley and his crew at Design Homes of Callaway are proud to help bring you this sports broadcast. 
Design Homes can help you with remodeling or any commercial or residential building construction. Just call Lane at 308-991-0870 to get started. Don't let that awesome project you have on your mind be a point of stress. Call Design Homes, proud sponsors of this sports broadcast. Welcome back to Callaway. 6.05 to go here first half. South Loop, a commanding 34-10 lead in this one. Brady basketball as we come out of the break. Sean McBride with it. Double team meets him, gives it off to Miller. Peyton Miller lobs it ahead. It's thrown over the head of his teammate who saves it in. And ball's on the floor and tied up. Jump ball will give the ball back to the Bobcats here on their home floor. Five fifty-four to go, first half. Harper Johnson into the front court. Harper reverses floor, gives it up to Wooters. Wooters lobs it inside. Rio Raymond has it taken away, and Rio, I think, gonna get called for a foul here. Just kind of got caught in a bad spot. Ran right through Brady's Canning Golter, and Rio gonna pick up his third foul. Only four total players with any fouls at all. Peyton Miller has two. Connor Paulson of South Loop has one. And Joel Miller of Brady has one. Rio Raymond has the other three. Brady back into the half court. McBride with it left side. A couple of dribbles. Johnson playing good defense there. McBride passes it away to Peyton Miller. Peyton lost the basketball, recovers. Goes through the double team and turns it over into the hands of Caleb McFate. McFade into the front court, off to Johnson. Now Wooters, short corner look. Shot put up and in, Lance Wooters from about 10 feet out. And Lance gets his first shot of the ball game for South Loop. And now a double dribble is gonna be called on McBride. We'll head back our direction here on the end of the floor. Again, thanks to all the sponsors making this broadcast possible, whether it be on the video stream, you're watching on the St. Hills Express YouTube and Facebook pages, or on KC and I Pure Country. Our AM transmitter has gone off for the day, but you can still listen at 96.3 FM at the late night. Pure Country always available 24-7. Of course, online and on the free app as well. Wooters thought about the long two. Now it's off the outstretched arm of Cannon Golter of Brady went off the chest of the official. South Loop will retain possession. Slap of the ball. Johnson has it. Works far side. He's looking at McFate. Now throws it away. Was going across to Crew with Tune. Turnover back to Brady. Brady in the front court. Shirk with it. Now up top to Golter. Golter inside McBride. Kick it out, and they work it around. Now the drive from Shirk, lost it, had it partially blocked, and is trying to pull it out of there. It was last touched by Brady, turnover back to South Loop. Four fifteen to go here, first half. 26-point lead for South Loop. Bobcats basketball, a turnover again. Back to Brady. Fourth of the game unofficially for South Loop. Driving inside, Brady putting it up. Unable to get the shot to go, but a foul is going to be called. A nice post-to-post -post find. Ball goes into the hands of Brody Tellitz, who's fouled, and will go back to the free throw line. Brody's been there one time before, didn't complete the three-point play his last time there earlier on in this quarter. Can't get the front end of this one to go. Foul, by the way, was on Crew Watoon, his first. In for South Loop, Malachi Neth, six foot tall freshman. Tellitz gets the second one to go. He's got three in the ball game with that make. Johnson again plays point for South Loop. Harper into the front court, off to McFate. One dribble, short corner. Working around to Neth. Neth threw it away. McBride into the front court. McBride in the short corner, back to the basket. Gets it out to Shirk, three-pointer, way long. We'll call it a pass, weak side. Sanger couldn't get the follow to go. This time pulled away by South Loop. Johnson up to McFate. McFate back up top. Johnson 
Now far side over to Carter Wood. The three-pointer put up. McFate saved it in, throws it into the corner, and tracking it down there is Carter Wood. Now McFate, a 15-footer, just missed that one. Rebound to Brady. Back the other way come the Eagles. Good defense from Harper Johnson. Turnover back to South Loop. Both teams haven't had a score in a while. It's kind of been a turnover fest, and just as I say that, Harper Johnson fires it down inside to Crew Watoon, who gets his third and fourth points on the evening. Brady the other way, back in the half court. McBride puts up a three and hits a three. Sean McBride, his first make from the field. He was one of two from the free throw line for his only other point so far in this one. McFate near side, now short corner to Neff. Neff gets it inside, shot missed by Watoon. Watoon gets his own miss though. Gets an out, shot left short by Carter Wood. This time the rebound pulled out of there by Brady's Riley Shark. Shark into the front court. Off to McBride, McBride kicks it out. They work it around to Sanger. Sanger baseline drives, puts it up through some contact. Can't get it to go but he will go to the free throw line. I'm anticipating this foul going on Crew Watoon, and it does. Cinch Sanger to the free throw line for the Brady Eagles. Sanger's first rolls over the front of the rim and goes in for his first point of the game. Connor Paulson comes back in for South Loop, also running into the bas basketball game. Lance Wooters. Sanger second, follows the first. He goes two for two that trip. Paulson back in to play point guard for the South Loop offense. Paulson, no look pass, goes through everyone, doesn't touch anybody, and turned over back to Brady. No backcourt pressure. South Loop picks up Brady at the half court. Brady, a couple of passes. They get it to McBride. McBride, no defense there. Goes up, can't score it. Fight for the rebound. Pulled out of there by South Loop's Neth. Neth and Paulson play a little catch in the backcourt. Now Paulson into the front court, Dribbling through a couple of defenders. Off to McFate. Three-pointer up. Off the back rim. Rebound Neth. And Neth called for a travel. Fell down after rebounding it. And it will go back to Brady. 38 to 16 is the South Loop lead. Minute 35 to go here first half. Haven't seen much of the starters. Saw them obviously at the beginning of the game for South Loop and then saw them at the start of the second quarter for a short two minute spurt. Brady back the other way. Shirk can't get the shot inside to go. Wooters pulls down the rebound, threw it away. And now a block from behind by Paulson. But a foul called on the follow through as Golter had taken it away and gone up with it. He's earned himself a trip to the line as picking up his second foul is South Loop's Connor Paulson. Cannon Golter to the free throw line. Can't get the first one to fall. Lots of free throws shot by Brady here in the second quarter. This will be the seventh one upcoming for the Eagles compared to just two for South Loop. Golter can't get the second one to go. Two South Loop Bobcats touch it, though. Can't control it. We'll stay on the far end with Brady. Shirk to key it in. Sanger, left side. Cinch centers the ball. Now McBride, high post. McBride turns, shoots, gets the friendly roll here in Callaway. And Sean McBride... He's got himself five points in the quarter. Paulson into the front court. Connor, 15-footer, can't get it to go. One and done. Back the other way comes Brady. Baseball pass ahead. Tellitz controls it and lays it up and in. And South Loop getting caught sleeping. And Tellitz all of a sudden has five in the quarter. And pulling to within 18 is Brady. Paulson had his pocket picked. Cinch Sanger the other way. Cinch holds it up. Good defense from Neth. Cinch turnaround shot doesn't go, but the follow does go by Cannon Golter. 
20 seconds to go. First half, it's 38 to 22, South Loop. The turnover bug has caught the South Loop Bobcats as a foul is whistled. We'll see who this is reported against. This is going to go against Brady's Riley Shirk, his first. South Loop will be back in the half court. Paulson receives the inbounds, comes near side wing, up to McFate. Caleb, a couple of dribbles, back to Paulson, jab step, backs it out. Five seconds to go, first half. McFate threw it away. Two seconds on the clock. Brady tosses it in. Shirk, shot at the buzzer, has the right angle. Oh, my goodness, that one just about went in at the buzzer. A little bit of excitement there for Brady as we head to the halftime. The Eagles trail it 22 to 38. The Bobcats of South Loop on top on their home floor here in Callaway. We'll add up the halftime numbers and bring them to you after this. Into them, the bars, taverns, and grills that are exactly like the next. Not at Henry's Callaway Bar. They offer a bar experience unlike any other. Try one of Henry's fresh handcrafted drinks or kick back for a beer with friends. If it's an appetite you're bringing with your thirst, look to their amazing homemade pizzas to fill you up. Available to dine in or carry out. Call 308-836-4484. A slice of lime and a good time await you at Henry's Bar in Callaway. The oasis in the middle of Nebraska. Eggleston Oil keeps the Oconto community on the go with full service at the gas pumps. They treat every customer with a smile and often some lively conversation. Their shop provides automotive repairs as well as tire service. Eggleston Oil keeps the local farms moving with fast, reliable, on-the-farm fuel delivery. They also help with a variety of local fundraisers, too. Supporting radio coverage of high school sports is yet another way they show that all-important community involvement at Eggleston Oil of Oconto. We've got spirit, yes we do. We've got spirit, how about you? Here at Nebraska State Bank, we've got school spirit. Introducing mascot debit cards from Nebraska State Bank. Now you can go to your local NSB branch and request a new debit card for your favorite high school team. The Broken Bow Indians, South Loop Bobcats, or Anselmo Murder debit cards are available by instant issue. You'll only pay $10, and the entire amount will be passed along to your school. It's a win-win situation, right? Take your school pride to the next level at Nebraska State Bank and Trust. Member FDIC. One thing we definitely desire perfection on is our vehicles. You want something that gets you to where you're going comfortably while looking great. Whether storm damage, deer damage, or insurance claim, take your ride to Rod's Body and Paint Broken Bow. They're the collision specialist. You should call 308-872-5346. Offering over 42 years of experience, they'll get you back on the road quickly without sacrificing quality. From dings and dents to full replacement and auto glass repair. Rod's Body and Paint, West Highway 2, Broken Bow. Ag producers know that healthy soil is the foundation for profitable, productive, and sound agricultural systems. Learn more about grazing strategies for optimum benefit to your herd and your soil, along with other related topics at AeroSeed's annual Soil Health Regeneration Conference, Wednesday the 31st in Broken Bow, featuring Nick Smith from Epworth, Iowa. Seating is limited for this free conference, so pre-registration by January 25th is required. Learn more and register online at aeroseed.com or call Aeroseed and Broken Bow by January 25th. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. Contact your local shelter insurance agents, Brent Custer or Seth Pearson in Broken Bow. Welcome back to Callaway as we are at the half. South Loop leading it 38-22 to over the Brady Eagles. We'll start with Brady as they are the visitors on the scoreboard. Kind of a slow start offensively in the first quarter. Uh, Brady being outscored 25-6 to in that quarter, but they actually did the outscoring in the second quarter, outscoring South Loop 16-13. to Taking a look at some of the numbers for the Brady Eagles, Cinch Sanger with two points. He's two for two at the free throw line. Six points by Sean McBride. Five of those six points coming in the second quarter. 
Joining uh, him in the scoring book is Riley Shirk with five points. Four points for Cannon Golter and five points for Brody Tellitz. Brody with a uh, few opportunities at the free throw line, knocking in one of his five points from there. Take a look at the South Loop Bobcats numbers. Uh, their starters, I would venture to guess, have played maybe five minutes of this contest. And when they've been in there, it's been electric for sure. Cash Gracie in those limited minutes, leading all scorers with 13. Trey Connell with nine. Six points for Rio Raymond, four points for Crew Watoon, and then two points apiece for Lance Wooters, Connor Paulson, and Joey Salick. South Loop, three of five from the free throw line, four for nine from the stripe are the Brady Eagles. Again, your score at the half, South Loop 38, Brady 22. We'll step away again, and when we come back, we'll have the second half for you on KCNI Pure Country, as well as the Sandhills Express YouTube and Facebook pages. Federal has been helping customers acquire new and or improve existing homes for over 90 years. We are excited to have the opportunity to help you finance your home purchase, improvement, or refinance. Whether it is move-in ready or a fixer-upper, we have mortgage experts who are up to speed on all types of financial solutions. We will work with you from application to closing to make the process as easy as possible. Get the keys to your dream home with Custer Federal, member FDIC, equal housing lender. The Grocery Cart is proud to bring you this sports broadcast. The case is always full of delicious food you can have right away or talk to the staff about your upcoming event and they'll make food for you. There's a wide selection of salads and don't forget Chester's Chicken Buckets and Strips. If the occasion calls for a cake, you can have it decorated how you'd like. Call the GK Deli at 872-2206 or stop by inside the grocery cart in Broken Bow. Friendly Rivals, Hometown Pride, wearing your school's colors. Small towns are brought together cheering on their favorite teams. Agland ATV knows how hard the athletes and coaches work year-round and are proud to help sponsor the games of our customers and their kids and grandkids. We have built relationships with many of these families through the years and are proud of their success. Best of luck to all the local athletes from Agland ATV and Broken Bow. 872-3424. Agland ATV, West Highway 2, Broken Bow. 872-3424. If the cold weather does anything, it makes us notice the drafts our homes are letting through. Meath Lumber and Broken Bow is proud to be your local solution for sailing up those drafts and making your home more efficient. They sell quality Anderson windows. Both 100 and 400 series are available for your new construction or replacement project. Of course, they have the foam for around those windows too. Meat Lumber is still being remodeled, but inside, their knowledgeable staff is ready to help with your DIY project. Are you suffering from back pain? Team Physical Therapy can help by addressing the root cause of your pain. 872-5111. Team Physical Therapy focuses on manual therapy, exercise, stretching, and personalized plan for you. Call 872-5111. Physical Therapy can reduce inflammation, improve flexibility, and increase strength. Don't let that low back pain slow you down. Call Team Physical Therapy at 872-5111. 725111 or check out any of our locations in Broken Bow, Burwell, Callaway, Gothenburg, or Kearney. Geared for Sports in Broken Bow is all about gearing you up for sports, whether it's for participating or for cheering from the stands. They have it. Scott is extending their semi annual shoe sale in case the cold and snow has been keeping you from shopping. All regular price shoes are marked 20% off. Head through their door on the west side of the square and take advantage of big savings. The semi-annual shoe sell at Geared for Sports. Open Monday to Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturdays, 10 to 4. Get your gear at Geared for Sports in Broken Bow. Still at the half here Still in Callaway. Here South in Loop Callaway. leading at 38 to 22 over Brady. On our sister station, KBBN 95.3 FM, earlier tonight, Twin Loop got the victory. The three seed over the six seed in Selma Myrna came down to a last-second shot from Quincy Riker. He scored that. Go ahead, Bucket, 47-44, to 44, the final in that one as Anselmo Myrna had no time to answer as time expired. So Twin Loop advances to the semifinals. In the Sandhill, Stepford, and Arthur County matchup, that is the two-seed Sandhill, Stepford, and the seven-seed Arthur County. Reporting, uh, getting a report from Brent that that game is at the half. Sandhill, Stepford leading that one 31-20 at the half. So 
Twin Loop has advanced. Sand Hills Thetford leading at the moment. We also have Sand Hills Valley having advanced over last year's runner-up, the Mullen Broncos. So we've figured out two of the four teams that are going to be advancing to the semifinals. We just have to figure out those last two. We'll take another break. When we come back, we'll have the third quarter here from Callaway between South Loop and Brady. Sargent Irrigation may be known worldwide, but their roots are right here in central Nebraska, something they are very proud of. They hire right here in the heartland and know their success is due to those quality employees. As a way of showing support for the community, Sargent Irrigation sponsors high school sports broadcasts so those unable to attend can follow the action. Enjoy the broadcast, sponsored in part by Sargent Irrigation in Broken Bow. Happy New Year from all of us at Melham Medical Center in Broken Bow. We thank you for trusting us with your family's care throughout the year. And we look forward to making your healthcare experience comfortable and dependable for years to come. We invite you to visit our website, melham.org, to learn more about us, including our services, history, careers, and more. That's melham.org. Melham Medical Center, large enough to serve, small enough to care. Wishing you a happy new year. Both teams quickly Both teams back out quickly onto the court after the halftime break. South Loop turned the ball over initially, but gave it right back. And essentially, nothing has happened as Brady is still in the half court. Inbounds from the deep sideline, poked away. Connell can't track it down. McBride for Brady, pull up three, can't get the roll. And the rebound pulled out of there by Salik. Baseball pass ahead to Cash Gracie. He goes up and throws another one down. And Cash Gracie, Gets the scoring started for South Loop here in this one. I'd venture to guess maybe half of his points have been off of dunks so far here tonight. McBride can't get the turnaround to go. Cash Gracie throws it off of the chest of Joel Miller. And it's possession now for South Loop. Forty to twenty-two, the South Loop lead. As Connell will walk the basketball up for the Bobcats. Picking up at half court, it's Golter. Go to Paulson in the corner momentarily. Now the no-look pass down to Pandorf. He lays it up and in, and Dylan Pandorf into the scorebook with his four first points of the contest. Brady into the half court. McBride, top of the key. Fits it over to Shirk. Shirk's three-pointer long rebound underneath to Connell. Connell wants to push. Weaving through the defense, drives inside, leaves it for Pandorf. Can't hit it, left it short. Rebound McBride. McBride holds it up. And now in the front court is Brady. And a travel going to be called as picking up the ball and walking a bit with it was Peyton Miller. Turnover back to South Loop. We approach 6.30 to go. Cash Gracie now to Paulson. Paulson up top over to Cash. Cash pulls for the three. Left it long, and it hits the guideline up top. And that is out of bounds. By rule, back to Brady. <laughs> 20-point lead for South Loop. Bobcats back on defense. Trap thrown out of. Brady controls it, McBride in the lane. Scoop layup off the rim, can't get it to go. He follows it, can't get that one to go. Second follow doesn't go, but a foul gonna be called on Paulson as he gets McBride from behind. Connor Paulson picks up his third foul in this one. One of only two players on either team to have three. Rio Raymond is the other for South Loop. McBride Knocks that one off of the front of the rim. We'll get a look at a second. And McBride rattles this one in for the first point for Brady here in the third quarter. Connell into the front court, off to Gracie. Gracie right side, skip pass over to Connell. Trey inside, Salik had it blocked. Brady with the turnover. McBride leads the break, and whoa! Lots of power on that one, fired right over the head of Shirk. And it's a turnover back to South Loop. Both teams floating right around that 10 turnover mark. Ellel and 
Now both teams at that 10 turnover mark unofficially as Connell, a bullet pass straight into the padding on the far baseline. Ball back to Brady. Into the front court, now another turnover. And Connell lost it, now recovers in the corner. McBride pressures him momentarily, now south loop into the front court. And Connell throws it away. Threw it behind his back to Paulson, goes out of bounds, and that triggers a substitution as Connell will go to the bench. Sloppy start to this third quarter. Only five total points scored in this one. It's 42 to 23, South Loop. Brady into the half court. Spinning shot put up. The fadeaway by Peyton Miller looks super pure. And that's just what the doctor ordered for Brady. Back the other way, Cash Gracie up to Salick. Around to Harper Johnson. Quickly inside, Connor Paulson. Double team there, kicks it out to Gracie. Gracie fakes the pass, drives in, and a foul going to be called. Baseline inbounds up coming for South Loop. Foul called on Joel Miller of Brady, his second. Paulson slaps the ball. Gracie in the corner, hits the three up, can't get it to go. Rebound McBride, here comes Brady. Brady in the half court now. McBride, top of the key, pulls the three-pointer, hits them all. And Sean McBride has got his first shot from the field to go with his free throw for four points in the quarter. It's 42-28, to 28, South Loop. Harper Johnson near side, off to Gracie. Gracie dribbles down into the corner, now reverses, tries to go baseline, cut off by Brady's Riley Shirt. And now Shirk tracks down the ball. Shirk the other way, goes up, has it partially blocked. Rebound, Pandorf, South Loop basketball. 4-10 to go, third quarter. Paulson over to Johnson. Harper, one dribble, short corner, Pandorf. Skip pass up to Gracie. Gracie way off, side of the rim. Rebound pulled out of there by Shirk. Under four to go here, third quarter. Another three up from McBride from the corner. Can't get it to go. Weak side rebound pulled out of there by Brady. Now Shirk, tough angle. Almost found the angle. Just goes off of the rim. Last touch by who? Last touched by South Loop. It'll be Brady basketball on the baseline. Peyton Miller to key it in for the Eagles. Gets it inside to Shirk. Feels the contact. Fades out of there, can't get it to go off glass. Rebound South Loop. Paulson quickly ahead to Cash Gracie, backs it out of the corner. Good recovery defensively by Brady. Watoon drives inside, blocked, but fouled. The sophomore going to go to the free throw line after that shot attempt and foul. The third on Joel Miller of Brady. And Watoon knocks home the first. Cruz one for two from the free throw line now. He'll get a shot at a second here. Joel Miller subbed out for Brady. Look, he'll get a rest. Watoon second. Does not follow the first rebound to McBride of Brady. Back the other way. McBride holds it up. And Brady works it around. Now McBride up near side wing. 3.20 to go here, third quarter. Shirk handles it, trying to get it down baseline. The cutter was Peyton Miller, but it's intercepted by South Loop. Harper Johnson back the other way, holds it up to Paulson. Paulson chops the feet, drives inside, scoops it up, can't get it to go, and unable to control the rebound is Rio Raymond. Ball back to the Brady Eagles. Brady here in this third quarter outscoring South Loop 6-5. to five. Brady in the half court again. McBride driving in. Double teamed. Kicks it out. Three-pointer up from Peyton Miller. Clanks off the backboard. And Cash Gracie back the other way. Wants to outrace everybody. Goes up, lays it in, and scores two. Cash Gracie with four in the quarter. 17 in the ball game. McBride into the front court. 
Gives it off to Shirk. Shirk pressured. Diving for it is Paulson. It's last touch by South Loop. It'll be Brady basketball. As Pandorf comes back in for Cash Gracie. Shirk to throw it in. Goes up top. McBride, three from the top of the key. Can't get it to rattle in. Skying in and pulling down the rebound. Crew with Toon. Good rebound for South Loop. Paulson with the bounce into the front court. Connor off to Pandorf in the corner. Up top, Raymond. Finds Harper Johnson, far side, goes baseline, left the 10-footer long. Paulson, the weak side rebound. Connor double teamed on the block, throws it up top to Pandorf. Dillon had it chopped away. Shirk comes away with it. Shirk the other way, lays it up, and left it long. Missed the layup, and he can't believe it. Watoon the miss, and back the other way goes South Loop. Those are so tough. Short corner, Watoon lobs it in. Rio Raymond, nice find there from the short corner to the opposite block. And Raymond puts it up and in for his first score of the second half. McBride into the front court, pressured, double team. Off to Shirt. Skip pass far side, Miller. Peyton, whoa, nice find all the way through. But a travel going to be called. Brody Tellitz couldn't control the pass. What a find by the freshman. Peyton Miller put it on a rope. Tellis couldn't control it and chopped the feet. Turnover back to South Loop. Harper Johnson up to McFate. Caleb, one dribble. Off to Wooter. Short corner. Gets it into Raymond. Can't get the layup to go. Missed it. Brady the rebound. Under a minute to go here, third quarter. South Loop leads it 47 to 28. McBride, free throw line jumper, got it. And McBride has six in the quarter. 17 point lead for South Loop. McFate to Wooter, same play here. Raymond controls it, gets it out to Pandorf. Long two, can't get the roll. Raymond the rebound, and a foul going to be called on Brady. Coming in there late. Grabbing the ball from Rio Raymond. And the foul going to be called here on Brady's Brody Tellitz, his first. Tellitz, a little bit of blood there. Maybe kind of elbow. He's kind of feeling that one. And, in fact, I think they're checking. Yeah, Rio's got some blood on his elbow. So it is, in fact, an elbow that was caught by Tellitz and... <laughs> If you folks have seen Rio Raymond, he's a big guy. He's, in fact, going to be playing Division II football at the next level. That would be a tough elbow to catch. Johnson into Pandorf. Pandorf dribbles forward. Back out to Johnson. Three-pointer up and three-pointer in. And Harper Johnson gets in the scorebook for his three here in the third quarter. McBride into the front court for Brady. Reverses dribble. Gets it up. Skip pass. Unable to control it is Sanger. Back the other way. Pandorf. Dillon holds it up. Lets the defense go by. Is fouled on the shot attempt. He'll go to the free throw line. Foul going to be called here on Peyton Miller. His third. As Pandorf goes to the line. Dillon's first shot all nylon. Second shot upcoming. Pandorf, Gracie, Harper Johnson, Rio Raymond, and Crew Watoon all scoring in this quarter for South Loop. As Pandorf goes two for two at the free throw line. On the other side, Brady's Sean McBride doing a lot of the heavy lifting here in the third quarter. But Peyton Miller joins him with a score in the period. Three seconds to go. McBride, deep three-pointer. Tried to go glass, couldn't get it to go, and that ends the third quarter. It's 52 to 30. South Loop on top of Brady as we head to the fourth quarter. 
The student athletes you're cheering on during this broadcast practice and study in order to get their competition and schoolwork done right. At Trotter Service, they do the same, except with your vehicle repairs. Whether you need a new battery, brake work, an alignment, tires, wheels, or an overhaul, trust their auto repair specialists to tackle the job. Don't forget bulk oil and fuel delivery and on-the-farm tire truck service, too. Proud to help bring you this broadcast, Trotter Service in Broken Bow. Acquiring a lush green lawn is a lot of work. Worry no more. A to Z Lawn Pro's fertilizer program is the solution to ease your mind and lessen your work. Any time of the season is a good time to start. Eliminate weeds, strengthen your grass, and even keep bugs away with liquid fertilizer treatments mixed with micronutrients for a recipe that works specifically in this area. 30 years of experience. 308-870-1762 for A to Z Lawn Pro. That's A to Z Lawn Pro at 870 870- 0-1762. Welcome back to Callaway. Back to Eight minutes up on the clock. South Loop in control, 52 to 30. Looking very much the favorite that they were coming into the tournament after winning the championship last year in the MNAC. South Loop girls team did the same thing last year. Harper Johnson with it up top for South Loop. Comes near side to Pandorf. Pandorf, one dribble. Looks at Wooters in the short corner. Instead goes Paulson. Harper Johnson, after hitting that recent three, off to Wooters. Can't get it to go. Rebound Brady. It's skipped far ahead, and Paulson eyes back the other way. Intercepts that one. Turnover to the Eagles. Ball squirts through there. Pandorf with it up top. Double team. Dribbles away from it. Harper Johnson, right wing. Conducts traffic to Pandorf, now over to Paulson. Paulson pulls for the three and gets it to go, and that's the way to start the quarter. Connor Paulson with a three-pointer for South Loop. South Loop outscoring Brady 14-8 there in the third quarter. Now Paulson has a turnover, throws it back in bounds, but to Brady Eagle Joel Miller. Miller up top to Shirk. Shirk, short corner to Sanger, can't get the two to go. Rebound was in the hands of South Loop's Lance Wooters, but stepped on the line. It'll be Brady basketball. Twenty-five point lead for South Loop as they dig in on defense again. Shirk up top to McBride. Pandorf on him. McBride holds it up in the corner. Sanger's three up. Off the front of the rim. Fight for the rebound pulled out of there. By South Loop's Carter Wood. Paulson quickly ahead to Johnson. Harper back up to Paulson. Paulson pulls the three, top of the key. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound, Joel Miller. Eagles back the other way. Minute and a half gone here in the fourth. McBride, baseball pass over to Sanger. High post look to Miller, had it knocked away. Recovering it is Brady. Brady kind of caught in a tight spot, and it's turned over back to South Loop. Bobcats the other way. Paulson with the bounce. Off to Pandorf, left side. Two minutes gone here, fourth quarter. Paulson, right side wing, hits another three. and Connor Paulson, after only scoring two in the first half, has himself six here in the fourth quarter. Long two put up by Coulter. Doesn't go for Brady. Harper Johnson the rebound. South Loop off and running. Wooters misses the shot from the free throw line. Long rebound to McBride. McBride will bring it up with the bounce. Drives in the lane. Oh, nice swim through the lane. Scoops it up and in for two. And Sean McBride having a really good second half here. He's got eight. In the second half alone. Paulson brings the ball forward. Three minutes now gone here in the fourth quarter. Wooters with it out to Pandorf. Pandorf over to Paulson. Same spot, same result. Three three pointers for Connor Paulson in the fourth. And South Loop has extended their lead out to 61 32. Brady back in the half court. Work it around. McBride. Totes up a three, left it long, and a foul going to be called here on Joel Miller. Probably one of the easiest foul calls the officials have had here tonight. Miller, two hands in the back, 
and a shove to the Bobcat in front of him. Coming back in for Brady, Peyton Miller also making his first appearance in the ball game is Brady's Andrew Rombison. Freshman picks up Johnson as he comes across half court. McFate, short corner. Wooters can't get the shot to go. Five for the rebound. Track down in the corner. South Loop retains possession. Johnson, crossover, pulls up in the lane. Had to hold on to it because of the good defense of Brady. It goes out of bounds, and it will be Eagles basketball. Four fifteen to go, fourth quarter. Brady into the front court. Joel Miller shot off the backboard too strong. Rebound South Loop. Poked out of there by McBride. It'll be Bobcats basketball. Carter Wood tosses it in to Johnson. We'll bring it up. 5'10 junior has played point guard quite a bit. Haven't seen much of Trey Connell in this one as South Loop is controlled from the beginning. McFate can't get the three to go. Rebound McBride. McBride ahead to Robinson. Now off to Shirk. Senior walks it forward. One hand into McBride. McBride swims through contact. Fouled and will go to the line. And the foul going to be whistled on South Loop's Lance Wooters, his first. McBride's first falls through for his third point of the con of the quarter. Excuse me. In for South Loop, Brady Brestel, 5'8 senior. As McBride goes two for two that trip. McFate will bring it up for South Loop this time. McFate off to Brustel. Back up to McFate. Fires it near side. Three put up by Carter Wood. Couldn't get it to go. One and done. McBride the rebound for Brady. McBride into the front court. No one stopped him yet. He goes up with it. Missed it. Teammates get the rebound. Brady back in the half court. They get it up top. Shirk steps into a three. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound again. Joel Miller out to Shirk. Now near side. They go to Robinson. Gets it inside. And scoring two, Peyton Miller of Brady. South loop back the other way as we get inside. Three minutes to go here, fourth quarter. A couple of subs coming in. For Brady, Cannon Golter. For South Loop, believe I saw, let's see, who did I see run in there? Hayden Stratetsky. He's got it in the short corner. 2.50 to go here, fourth quarter. He has the ball knocked away. 61 to 36, your score. McFate gets it into the corner. Brestel, left to right, leaves it for Wood, who puts it up and in, and Carter Wood scores himself a, couple, himself a couple of points and gets into the scorebook with those two. McBride into the front court, holds it up, drives in, puts it in, and scores it. Got the friendly roll over the rim. 2.20 to go, fourth quarter. South Loop back in the half court. McFate tracks down the loose basketball, right side wing, and it's turned over. McBride trying to do some fancy dribbling, lost it. Now gets it back from his teammate. McBride drives in, puts it up, can't score it. Rebound inside, South Loop. Scooped off to McFate. McFate works it ahead quickly, driving in. Oh, boy. Big time hit. Big collision there between Brady Brestel, 5'8", senior, and Joel Miller, the senior for Brady, the senior center who just picked up his fifth foul. And I'll just put it this way. Brestel, for those of you that are listening on the radio, gives up a few pounds to Joel Miller. Kind of lost that battle, and Miller will be checking out at the next, well, he's already checked out as Brestel certainly earned this trip to the free throw line. 
Resto can't get the first one to go. Brady Brustel trying to get into the scorebook with several of his South Loop teammates. Spin of the basketball, a couple of dribbles, and he'll put up another shot here. And Brustel's shot does not go. Fight for the rebound, pulled out of there by Wood. Goes back up with it. The lefty can't score. Brady with the rebound. Back the other way. Brady Eagles in the half court. Sanger with it. Drives in, short corner, lost it. Turnover into the hands of Wood. McFate will bring it up, playing point guard for South Loop. Caleb off to Brustel, almost intercepted, but an out of bounds off of Tellitz. Good to see Tellitz back in there. Thought he had a lot of blood coming from his nose earlier. Took a big time elbow from Rio Raymond, but he's back in there. Wood trying to look down inside to his teammate Neth. It's knocked out of there by Brady. It will remain South Loop basketball. Coming in for Brady, Jaden Tillman. Junior into the game for I believe the first time we've seen him. McFate gets it into Wood. Carter has it tied up. Ball on the ground, controlled by South Loop. They throw it out to Wood. McFate, three-pointer, can't get it to go. Fight for the rebound on the far side. Initially pulled out of there by Brady. Now coming out of there with it is Wood. Gets it out to McFate. Caleb swims it out. Brestel, three-pointer, left it short. Fight for the rebound again, pulled out of there. This time by Neth, kicks it out. McFate hits the three from the corner. And Caleb McFate, the 5'8 junior, hits for three and gets into the scorebook. Four three-pointers for South Loop here in this fourth quarter. One for McFate and those early three threes from Connor Paulson. Brady can't answer on the shot put up by Cinch Sanger. And McFate will bring it up with under 30 seconds to go in this one for South Loop. And looks like both teams content on dribbling this one out. And we've got this moment. We'll thank Backbone of Healthcare for bringing you this broadcast. Don't let low back and leg pain reduce your quality of life. Studies suggest spinal manipulation as the first method of treatment. If you're having pain, call Dr. Chad Hackle with Backbone of Healthcare at 872-2171 or visit them Monday through Friday on South 9th Avenue in Broken Bow. This one goes final. It's a 66 to 38 victory for South Loop. And the one seed will advance into the semifinals to be played on Thursday. Uh, we'll keep an eye on the other side of the bracket, see if we, well, we've got a text message from Brent Apperson here. We'll see about this one. St. Hill Stanford leads 53 to 25 after the third quarter. Kyle Cox having 12 points in the third quarter there. For, so uh, St. Hill Stanford, the second seed, looking well on their way to advancing as well. We'll, of course, keep an eye on that one as well. This one's gone final, 66 to 38. I'll add up some final numbers and bring those to you after this on KCNI Pure Country. At the Callaway Market, they appreciate their amazing customers who choose to shop local with them. That's why they offer their loyalty program, which has allowed them to give thousands of dollars back to the community. Your friends at Callaway Market invite you to shop their aisles, quality meat counter, and bountiful and beautiful produce section. On Mondays, a senior discount of 10% off is given. Thank you for shopping local from the Callaway Market. Open 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Saturday and Sundays from 11 till 5. The Callaway District Hospital, along with the Arnold and Callaway Medical Clinics, love supporting the community and are happy to be able to help bring you this sports broadcast. The Callaway District Hospital and Medical Clinics delight in serving the area with their public transportation service. Call 308-212-0464 to schedule a ride today. Areas served and destinations requested will be evaluated on a first-come, first-served basis. Cheering on the area athletes from the Callaway District Hospital and the Arnold and Callaway Medical Clinics. The staff at South Loop Pharmacy in Callaway is proud to be a sponsor of this sports broadcast. They support all the area athletes and are pleased to be a part of the South Loop Bobcat community. Their pharmacy provides knowledge on what is best for you and your family members. 
Stop in and talk to them today. South Loop Pharmacy in Callaway. Knowing you by name, not just a refill number. AgriBest Feeds of Callaway is your source for all things ranching. They have what you need as calving comes around, including ear tags, vet supplies, windscreens, go lights, milk replacer, royal heat, calf warmers, and more. They also carry Powder River and Charter Livestock Equipment, and their Sweet Pro Lick Tubs, Fresh Start, and Redmond Salt provide your animals with the outstanding nutrition they need. They carry the top-rated AeroQuip line of shoots and livestock equipment, too, behind the community center in Callaway or at 836-2298. Egg best feeds of Callaway. Have you heard the buzz? Yeah, it's got to be my neighbor's beehive. Beehive? Yeah, it's that new pivot controller from Beehive Ag. Cool, what's it do? Your phone becomes your pivot panel. You can control your pivot, pump, end gun, and it even has GPS and VRI. Breathe new technology into old pivots. Really? The subscription must be expensive. No, there is no subscription fee. Contact Rich Reynolds with Rain Dance Repair at 308-870-4455. That's 870-4455. At Nebraska Owners Insurance Agency, they are committed to building Nebraska's future one family at a time. That starts with the best service when it comes to your family, your belongings, and of course yourself. For auto, home, farm, or health and life free quotes, contact them at their office in Callaway or in Broken Bow. Nebraska Owners Insurance Agency wishes all of our area athletes the very best in competition. Brox Underground serves central Nebraska with expertise in water and irrigation services. Need some help? Call Rocky Dockweiler at 870-3457. Rocky salutes the student-athletes of the area and all the hard work they put in each and every season and is very proud of the young men and women that live in central Nebraska. Enjoy this broadcast, brought to you in part by Rocky Dockweiler with Rox Underground in Oconto. Lodi Seed Service, LLC, your trusted channel seedsman, now serving the Callaway area. They are proud to bring you this sports broadcast. Why choose them? High quality channel seeds, expertise tailored to your farm, local knowledge paired with global resources, and of course, unmatched customer service. To get on the path to achieving your farming goals or exceeding them, contact Tim Rosentrader, Abe Hinman, or T.R. Anderson with Lodi Seed Services sponsors of this broadcast. The Brady Talent Booster Club is a proud supporter of the Brady Eagles, both academically and in athletics. The athletes you are hearing play work hard throughout the year to get better at the sports they participate in. But every Brady Eagle, athlete or not, is a student that has a big impact on our society now and will impact it in the future. The Brady Talent Booster Club salutes them and is proud to be a sponsor of this broadcast. At Norder Supply Incorporated in Callaway, you'll often see them sporting their South Loop Bobcat Blue because they love to support their team. Student-athletes work hard both academically and in sports, and Norder Supply is proud to support their dedication by helping bring you this sports broadcast on the radio. Wishing the team the best of luck and saying, Go Bobcats! Norder Supply Incorporated in Callaway. Welcome back to Callaway. Welcome Let's take Callaway. a look at the numbers as South Loop gets a victory 66 to 38 over Brady. Let's take a look at the numbers for Brady first. Sean McBride leads all scorers with 18. I don't think I ever saw that kid subbed out. Worked hard. Sweating plenty by the end of this one. He had 18 to lead all scores. Five points apiece for Riley Shark. Uh, Riley Shirk and Brody Tellitz uh, with five as well. Four points apiece for Cannon Golter and Peyton Miller. And two points put in by Cinch Sanger for Brady. For South Loop, they were led in scoring by Cash Gracie with 17. Joining him in double figures was Connor Paulson. Nine of his 11 points coming in the fourth quarter, all from the three-point line. Nine points for Trey Connell, eight for Rio Raymond. Uh, let's see here, five points for Crew Watoon, four for Dylan Pandorf, three for Caleb McFate. Three as well for Harper Johnson. Two apiece for Joey Salick as well as Lance Wooters and Carter Wood to round out the scoring. South Loop 6 of 11 from the free throw line. Brady 7 of 13 from the charity stripe. We'll take one more commercial break, and when we come back, we'll close it out from here in Callaway on KCNI Radio and Sandhills Express YouTube and Facebook pages. 
First State Insurance of Arnold, they're proud to say that they can offer you choices. Those choices save you money. They can offer you a variety of choices because they are independent agents. First State Insurance is cheering on the Bobcats all the way. Call Becky or Taylor at 848-2522 to set up an appointment with First State Insurance of Arnold. Proud supporters of the South Loop Bobcat coaches and players who work so hard. You can find the Hitch and Post Saloon on Main Street in Brady. They're open daily and are serving up delicious specials throughout the week. Monday, it's 99-cent Wings and Rubens, and on Tuesday, they have taco specials with $2 margaritas. Wednesday is a great day for great chicken fried steak. Thursday, head into the Hitch and Post Saloon for Jack Burgers, Patty Melts, and $1 draws. Friday and Saturday, they'll serve you delicious cuts of prime rib. Stop by and see them at the Hitch and Post Saloon in Brady. Proud supporters of the Brady Eagles. Crash, boom, bang. All sounds you never want to hear coming from your vehicle. A1 Auto Repair in Arnold is prepared to fix or prevent those sounds. If you're in need of auto and light truck service and repair, give Josh a call. 848-2542. That's 848-2542. It all starts with diagnosing the problem, then working to get you back on the road quickly with a vehicle you can depend on. A1 Auto Service in Arnold. Proud sponsors of this broadcast and high school sports. Mills Hardware is proud to support the local athletes. From painting to tools, sporting goods to office supplies, Mills Hardware is the place to go. Always remember, if they don't have it, they will try to get it for you. They have 155 different suppliers that they work with and offer services like hunting, fishing, and park permits, key making, and more. They thank you for your continued patronage of their store. You're very important to them. Thank you from the Mills Hardware and Feed team. Consolidated Companies is a proud sponsor of our student athletes. Everyone wants to get to the events and cheer on their students, but sometimes you just can't. Keeping up to date on all the local sports is hard to do, but Consolidated Super Fast Broadband can change that. Find all the latest information on local school and broadcast channel web pages, along with news and weather. For more information, call Consolidated at 1-800-742-7464. Plus, look for them now on Facebook, facebook.com slash Consolidated Companies. Banchley Well Service in Ocado is proud to sponsor this high school sports broadcast, featuring some of our awesome student athletes right here in central Nebraska. Cliff and his team at Badgley Well are always on call at 858-4409. From domestic to stock wells, call Badgley Well Service of Ocanto. They have the experience to get the job done right. Call Badgley Well Service of Ocanto when water is the goal. Badgley Well is happy to help bring you this sports broadcast. Lane Chesley and his crew at Design Homes of Callaway are proud to help bring you this sports broadcast. Design Homes can help you with remodeling or any commercial or residential building construction. Just call Lane at 308 308- 991-0870 to get started. Don't let that awesome project you have on your mind be a point of stress. Call Design Homes, proud sponsors of this sports broadcast. You've been to them, the bars, taverns, and grills that are exactly like the next. Not at Henry's Callaway Bar. They offer a bar experience unlike any other. Try one of Henry's fresh handcrafted drinks or kick back for a beer with friends. If it's an appetite you're bringing with your thirst, look to their amazing homemade pizzas to fill you up. Available to dine in or carry out. Call 308-836-4484. A slice of lime and a good time await you at Henry's Bar in Callaway. The oasis in the middle of Nebraska. Eggleston Oil keeps the Oconto community on the go with full service at the gas pumps. They treat every customer with a smile and often some lively conversation. Their shop provides automotive repairs as well as tire service. Eggleston Oil keeps the local farms moving with fast, reliable, on-the-farm fuel delivery. They also help with a variety of local fundraisers, too. Supporting radio coverage of high school sports is yet another way they show that all-important community involvement at Eggleston Oil of Oconto. Welcome back one last time as they start to shut off the lights here in Callaway. We want to thank you again for joining us for our broadcast of high school sports. Thank you as well to Thrive in Financial. They're proud to support our local sports teams as they work hard to achieve their goals. 
Thrivent representative Scott Harvey is excited to help you reach your financial goals. He'll help you create a financial strategy that reflects your priorities and protects what matters most to you. Whether it's insurance, investments, or planning for retirement, give Scott Harvey and Thrivent Financial a call today at 308-872-2511. Again, we have gone final in both of our games. Sand Hills Valley, the five seed, getting the win over four seed Mullen, 35 to 33. South Loop getting the victory over number eight seed Brady, 66 to 38. Twin Loop on the other side of the bracket, advancing into the semifinals with a 47 to 44 last second three point shot pulled down uh, or put in rather by Quincy Riker. St. Hill sent for the two seed. Last report from Brent Apperson, they were well on their way to advancing into the semifinals. So the one, five, and three seeds are in. St. Hill Semford would be the two seed. We'll, of course, keep our eye on that game, and you can find full results on sandhillsexpress.com. That does it for our broadcast here in Callaway. Thank you so much to all of the sponsors that are helping bring you MNAC coverage and high school sports in general on KCNI KBBN and Sandhills Express video. Tomorrow, girls action coming your direction from Sandhills High School. Thursday, all the semifinal games. Saturday, championship Saturday. And we'll have the third place games for you as well. Thursday and Saturday, KBBN Radio and Sand Hills Express video all the way through. For our videographer, Summer Yarrington, I'm Jeremy Scheib wishing you a wonderful rest of your evening. The 3-2 pitch, swung on, and a little blooper to right field. That's a base hit. Bo's going to win. Coming in to score the winning run is Caden McKean. And Broken Bow wins the Mid-Nebraska League Championship game in walk-off fashion. Carter Johnson, a little flare to right field. Found the outfield grass. And Broken Bow has won the Mid-Nebraska League Championship. He's just a, a strong opponent for any wrestler. I mean, undefeated state champ last year in the state finals the year before, a three-time state medalist, and there, a really nice takedown, good fluid motion by a guy that's wrestling 195 pounds. Brady Skinner with it up top. Faye at the buzzer. Wow. Hits the three. Nice-looking shot for to Folkers, back at the Grant Long three, got it! Nice, cash attacks. Double, almost triple teamed, out to Connell, deep three, wow. hit it. That's a three for South Loop. I have to make sure I set my cruise control when I drive after I watch this event. I, yeah, exactly. Car 204, the Yellow Viper of Ryan Furstenau. Oh, Hello to all our viewers <laughs> out there. Thank you very much for tuning in. You get a look at where we're talking to you from. You get back in six and now five. Pandorf at top of the key three. Good! Pandorf at the buzzer. Johnson hammered out towards center. Holm going back, going back. Holm will dive, and did he make the catch? He did! Caden Holm, a diving catch across his body to the right. Going. Ball comes out of there. Who's going to hop on top of it? It's going to be scooped up by Cooksley. Inside the 30, the 20, 15, 10. Can he get there? He can. It's six points for Sandhill Stedford on defense. The scoop and score. Calero sends it in the corner to Santos. A three. Got it. His third from downtown in the quarter. Cody with the bounce. Gets it into Ryan. Ryan. Nice post move. Lays it up and in and scores two. 10.2 seconds left. Plays it out to Pandorf, top of the key. Long three, she puts it up, and that's gonna go. And they turn it over, does Hyannis. Moore could be showtime, goes up and jams it. What a way to end the half for Mullen. Finney lost it to Cash Gracie. Cash runs forward, dunks it. And looks over at his fellow students in the student section on the far side and gives a fist pump. Pass to the elbow to Jackson Henry, handoff Loy. Loy picked up by Miller. Loy bounces it inside to Henry. He'll put it up and score. And Ansley Litchfield has their first lead of the game.